Sorry guys, I just got home. I know a lot of people have been asking about me. I went to go get a computer. Brownie and and Donnie are playing. Look, can you see him play? Play with Donnie. Puppy's playing. Anyways, that's the guys playing. Wait, let me turn make sure chat is turned on. Let's go to live chat. See if anybody's here yet. Oh, I got seven people. Let's see. Say hi, Brownie. Where's Donnie? Why do you always got to get me in the nose? And then Sugar's right here, too. Huh, Sugar? I got home, and nobody's leaving me alone. Because I've been gone all day. They've been freaking out since yesterday, which you can imagine. Sacred Heart, you're just thinking of me? What's up, Backwoods? What's up, David? How you guys doing? Uh, Donna, Wendy, how you guys doing, everybody? These dogs are going crazy because I'm home. They're excited. How's everybody's night? How's your Saturday been? Hope you had a better Saturday. Uh, you need some info to get a... What's up, Chad? What's up, Drunk? Um, you know what? Uh, luckily, uh, my friend Taiho, he uh, he loaned me a... Hey, calm down, you guys. He loaned me an... Uh, he has an iMac computer. It's, I don't know how old it is. It's a big square one. There's Love Love. Hey, well, Brownie, will you calm down? Can you hear these guys playing? They're going crazy in the background. So, uh, but yeah, uh, Taiho gave me a, an older iMac. He says it's really slow, but it hopefully will work for video. Um, so I'm going to try that out until I get the, uh, until I get the new, um, uh, my computer back, hopefully. If not, um, I got something coming in soon that I might better get a new, at least a, a MacBook Pro or something like that. We'll see. But uh, for right now, you know, I got nothing. That's why I'm talking to you on my cell phone. Uh, I I was going to set up the computer, but it's going to take me a while to get there. What's up, Mr. Big? What's up, Jaybird? And, uh, and, uh, but, um, Drunk Uncle was texting me like, Eddie, where are you? Everybody's asking where you are. What's up, DK Records? And, uh, so, because everybody was worried, I didn't want to take the time to set up my, uh, my computer. But what's funny is, so, I sold Taiho, uh, when I bought the iPhone 11 Pros, I think. I bought one for me and my wife when I was married at the time. Uh, I don't, I didn't bring the iMac in yet, drunk. I'll send you a text with a picture of it. It's the old square box one. I mean, it's like this, this thick all the way around. Um, when I get, when I get it in, I'll take a picture of it for you. It's still in my truck. Uh, rundown of what happened, DK. So, yesterday, I was here at my house. You want the Transformer? <laughs> Voltron, I think it's Voltron. Uh, but anyway, so you guys want to run down since, uh, if you guys missed the show yesterday. I was sitting here at my computer. Uh, hello, Paul. Doing, um, I was doing eBay, you know, just, uh, listing stuff on eBay and I hear bam, 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 bam. Oh, I love, love my laugh. And so I went and um, went to the door. And like I was so scared, I walked without my cane, right? I can walk a little bit without my cane as long as I hold on to the sides. And then I was like, oh shit, I better get my cane. So I walked back to my cane and I'm like, I hear him bam, bam, bam again. And I was like, dude, I'm crippled, hold on. So I open up the door and there's a whole bunch of uh, FBI agents out there. And, um, they're like, uh, you need to come out right now. So, I was like, alright. Um, and, like, Donnie, the, Donnie, for some reason, whenever I open up the door, yeah, they had a warrant, Mr. Big, or Mix Big, sorry, I can't see on this little screen. Uh, I had a warrant, or they had a warrant for, a search warrant. So, great, he's pe I'm sorry, <laughs> I gotta stop this story. So, the... The, I'm in the back room. There's there's a door right here from the kitchen out to the outside, and it's like five feet. And Donnie pees right here at the freaking door. <sighs> Got to potty train this dog. But anyways, so uh, they, Donnie likes to run outside, and I'm opening the door. I'm trying to grab Donnie. They're trying to grab me, and uh, they're like, "Don't worry about the dog." And I'm like, "No, I'm gonna worry about the dog. You know, don't let him out. I live on a pretty busy street." So um. Uh, I go outside, you know, they, they, they get me outside, and they leave the freaking door open, so Donnie goes running by, I'm like, dude, can you catch him? And then Sugar, my pit bull, goes running out the door, and all my dogs are freaking out, you know, 
Um, so then they finally shut the door and they're like, do you know why we're here? And I was like, I can guess. And uh, I just looked at them and I, uh, what's up, Jesse? I said, so do I have to uh, call somebody to come pick up my dogs? And they're like, no, you can leave right now. You, you, the warrant's not for you. You're not under investigation. We just want all your equipment. And I'm like, you couldn't have asked for my equipment? And, well, they knew the answer would have been no anyways. So uh, I go in the house, or so they keep me outside for like an hour. And they're like, well, we're going to we're gonna get you back inside uh, so you're not seen. You know, because I, I live on a busy street. And everybody was driving by, taking pictures. So they take me inside, and I think, okay, I'm going to go sit at my computer desk or something. No, they took me to the backyard. They didn't want, I could not be in the house while they were doing their investigation. So basically, this was where my computer was. Nothing there. They took my very expensive iMac, because I had it fully loaded for editing video. Oh, thank you, Bida. Bida. Um, they took, uh, they took, I had a second monitor. They uh, they took my second monitor, which I don't know why they needed to take a monitor. They took all of my my microphones, my wireless microphones. They took my battery charger. You know, a battery charger to um, charge your cell phone, right? Um, they took... What else did they take? Uh, I have little recorders. They took that. I have a professional 4K camera. Very expensive professional 4K camera. They took that. Uh, every SD card I have, they took. All my hard drives. I had a whole bunch of extra hard drives. Uh, what else? They took my cell phone. Um, don't know when they're going to return it. They said they'll return it when they're done with it. Basically. Basically. And I had a computer that when my wife had a thrift store. Yeah, I got a receipt. Five, I got five pages of receipts of stuff they took. Um... They took my, um, they didn't take, they didn't take my drone because that was in my truck. They didn't have a warrant for my truck, so they couldn't go in my truck. Um, yeah, they said they'll be getting them back. I don't, but who knows when, right? So they took all my cell phones. I had a backup cell phone because, um, when my wife left me, I took the cell phone back because it's under my name, so I'm not letting her, I'm not giving her a free cell phone. And they took that one too. So... I had to rush to Verizon yesterday and buy this phone. And uh, I bought the cheapest iPhone they had. But because, um, you know how, you know when you buy a phone, you pay like monthly payments? No, it's not uploaded. Well, some stuff's uploaded to the cloud, but most of it's on my... I have tons of orange external drives. So that's all on my external drives. And, uh, but yeah, they took all my stuff. Left, and I'm like, how can you leave me without a cell phone? Um, I told them, um, who is Don? I don't know who Don is. I don't know who Don is. Um, so, yeah, so I asked them. I'm like, hey, dude. <laughs> no, they left my toothbrush. I said, how am I? I'm disabled. How am I supposed to call somebody? What if I get hurt in my house? So uh, they're like, well, that's tough luck. We're taking it all. Luckily, they're nice enough, because I have to call my stepdad every day. They went and got his cell phone number for me so I could call him and let him know what's going on. But, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, for the most part, the cops were pretty nice, you know. Uh, when they asked me, that's what a landline is for. Who has a landline anymore? Um, so then uh, I, went and I went to my friend who, he's a, he's a uh, paralegal. And so I gave him a dollar to render services. So now he is my uh, practicing attorney, I guess. And he told me, he wants me to contact the ACLU because I told them I'm a journalist. This is how I make my money. And, uh, you know, I as a journalist, you don't have a right to my, my film, right? Because I'm supposed to be able to say, I don't, I'm not going to give up my sources. And... Uh, they wouldn't. They they took it. So apparently he says that I can get him with the ACLU for taking all my stuff. They um they broke a couple of my because I have ring cameras out in front of my house. They broke one of them. Uh, the ring push button doorbell. They broke and knocked it off the ground. Actually, I got the I got the video. You want to see it? You guys want to see the video? I can show it to you on this little tiny phone. 
Let's see. Let me, uh, let me turn off notifications, because that way people aren't reading my text messages. Uh, do not disturb. Turn it to do not disturb. Oh, it's already on. That's weird. Okay, so you guys want to see this video? Let me show you the video of them coming up to the house. Um, turn that on. Okay, so just so you know, uh, I was in the process of bringing some thrift store stuff in. So don't judge me on the front of my house. Let's see. I don't know if you can see the video, okay? It's not going to be very good because it's from one phone to another, but... uh. Hold on, let me turn the volume up. Uh-oh. What did I do? There we go. Hold on. Let me start it over because I had the volume way down. All right, let's see how close I can get this and make it work. Trying to do two things at once. Got an open door. Search police! You see, they got a crowbar. They're not here against sugar, don't worry. That's when they broke my camera. That's when they broke my camera. Come on out, police. For the search warrant. Your hands. Did your dog bite? All right, Andrew, we can see him, all right? Did y'all bite? Okay. Okay. All right, go back to my parking here. And that was it. So there you go. You guys got to see what happens. That was them pulling me out. I didn't even get to see another comment there now, so I'm going to go back and try and read some of the comments. Uh, let's see... Hopefully you had shit on their Trump back in president. Let's see. I got a pound of Bubba Kush. Let's see. Man, there's a whole bunch of confidence. I'm trying to, to, to catch up. Let's see. Did they act not neutral or partisan? They were pretty neutral. Let's see. A couple of them actually were out in the back and they were being pretty nice. Like they asked what the dog's name was and I'm like his name is Donnie. And they're like, uh, what does that stand for? I'm like, Donald J. Trump. And they're all, I knew I liked that dog. Uh, let's see. And what's funny is, like, because I know the chief of police around here. And, um, let's see. No, I was, in my house, I have a very small house. My wheelchair doesn't fit in my house. So I actually use a cane in my house. Uh, you should have had John Wick answer the door. That would have been cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty messed up how they did it. Um, so then, um, like, they, they like, they said they like Donnie because they liked his name. They didn't give me four, I didn't, they didn't ask me any questions, uh, really. They, um, what they said is, because I asked them, I'm like, hey, uh, do I got to get somebody here for my dogs? And they said, nope, you're not under suspicion, you, we're not here to search you, you can leave all you want, we just want your stuff in your house. But they wouldn't let me be in my house while they were searching. So I wonder if maybe they bugged my house or something. I don't know. But yeah, and so I know the Madera Police Department. I've been on the Citizens Academy for the police department. I know all of the freaking cops in town. And, um... Well, my stand, this, this is... It's a shore. I don't know. It was like... It's the same shore that, um... Uh, some famous guy uses. Now I got bugs all over the place. So, uh, anyways, um... Uh, the, uh, there's a Madera PD guy out there. Oh, thank you, Drew. I appreciate it. And, uh, the Madera police walks up, and I, and I know his name, so I was like, hey, you know, and I said his name, and he's like, Eddie, you all right? And I was like, yeah, they're just doing their job, and he's like, you want me to stay around and take care of you? And I was like, no, I'm good. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna get back to work. So it, it was that bad. Dino is your cousin? Matt, are you the reason why Dino always says I see your videos? Me and Dino are really good friends. Uh, well, I don't know if I can say that anymore, 
because I'm in trouble right now, so he probably can't say he knows me. But yeah, uh, I love Dino. He is an awesome, awesome chief. Uh, he's he made me the very first uh, Citizen Business Academy. Um, but anyways, so yeah, so all the cops the cops are just like Eddie. We know you're cool. You're not gonna do anything wrong. So they took off, but uh, they still kept uh, two Fresno sheriff or one Fresno sheriff, one Fresno. Two Fresno sheriffs, one Madera sheriff, a Fresno cop, and somebody else. Right on, Matt. That's cool. I didn't know that. But yeah, so that's what happened. No big deal. They just took my shit. So now I can't... They took every camera I had in the house. They had, took every single freaking camera. Um. So... And, and they tried to ask me some questions. You know, they're like, so where do you and your Proud Boys uh, have your meetings at? I'm like, I'm not a proud boy anymore. They said, well, where did you have your meetings at? I said, do I have to tell you? And they said, no, you're not under. So I'm like, good, I'm not going to tell you. And after that, they just pretty much left me alone. They questioned Oreo Express too. So they questioned Oreo Express, but they, 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 they tear down my house. What the heck? And like, they're taking the, my cameras and stuff out, right? I'm like, you know what you're going to get? You're going to get a whole bunch of footage of me walking around the World War II Memorial, uh, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and all that stuff. So, uh, and then um, the news is saying, the news is saying that I'm a white supremacist terrorist. The mayor of my city said I'm a white supremacist terrorist, but he's just a socialist punk anyways. So, um, you know, just a bunch of dumbasses. But yeah, so that's why I'm on my phone right now, and uh, you know it's I've been I drove a long way to go get the computer, and I had to hang out. Well, I didn't have to hang out, but I hung out with my buddy for a while. We talked a lot of business, and then I drove all the way home. So uh, I'm really really tired. Don't you think they incited an erection? Oh my gosh, you guys are still on that. You guys are still on that. So, but anyways. So yeah, they uh, they're basically just got a whole bunch of pictures of stupid or videos of stupid stuff. Yep, they took every one of my cameras, even cameras I didn't take to Washington D.C. Oh, and they took my press pass. I don't know what they took my President Trump press pass. Uh, no, we're still gonna have a party at Rob's in August. What are you talking about? I don't give up. They they if they did this to intimidate me, it's not working. You know what it's gonna do? It's going to make me even come out even harder. Because I am not going to let you guys down. I am here for you. I'm here to bring you the real news. And if that means I got to go to jail, you know, then that's what it means, right? So, but the cops, like I said, the cops were pretty cool for the most part. Uh, once, once they stopped pounding on my door and talked to me, then they were all like really nice to me. Oh, thank you, Angry. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So... They talk about the show and getting... Oh, wait. Where's that at, Britt? I don't know. I have not watched any of it. Um, hopefully... Oh, my gosh. So, anyways... Um, oh, I love you, too, Gator Girl. A, a lot of people have told me, don't watch the news. They're talking really bad about me. So, I just took their advice that I'm not watching the news. Hey, James, what's going on, big guy? A uh, local Fresno NBC. Yeah, they talk a lot of shit about me. Um, but I've also talked a lot about uh, shit about them, you know? Uh, not If they want to find it, they can find it. You know, guys, but don't. You know, what are you going to do? Go watch where they talk bad about me? Oh, thank you, Angry. Thank you very much. I mean, I don't want people to see uh see it you know why why go watch their news and let you see the bad things i'll tell you what they said they talk about saying i am a um, a white supremacist uh because i'm a proud boy they say i um i ran for county supervisor and lost will johnson said the bullshit that's bullshit what happened to me yeah will johnson's a good friend of mine so he should have said something nice about me i think paul um but yeah, uh, the news said a lot of shit about me. They talked about stuff that I've done. Uh, no, I haven't talked to Jeff Mack, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, 
if you want to look it up, you can. But it's all, it's not lies. I mean, they're they're bringing out stuff from my past. Like, everybody says, Eddie, you should run for, for president. But I told you I got skeletons in my closet, and I do. So, they're going to go and, and everything. What happened tonight? Uh, I got home so late, Rob, and everybody wanted me to go live because they were worried about me. Thank you, Max. So, it's my computer, it's going to take, I got to download stuff. I got to hook it up to the internet. It would have taken me like another hour or so before I could get it on there, right? So, um, hey Space, how are you? And so I didn't want to keep everybody up late till I got on because I heard everybody's worried about me. So I figure it's better if I, um... Hey, what are you guys chewing out there? Brownie! Donnie! Oh, I took the trash, I didn't take the trash out and I set it out there. That's what they're doing. Yeah, going to the Capitol is not against... I did nothing wrong, folks. I'm a, I'm a journalist. I have a media pass. Uh, in fact, they took my president, my press pass that uh, the President Trump uh, press team gave me. So, um, they know I'm a press... What's up, Valerie? So, they know I'm part of the press. Um, it, I, don't, I don't see Gray. I guess she might be asleep. If somebody can uh, remind Gray that... After she gave me her phone number and everybody's phone number again last night, I tried to re-download my phone hoping that everybody's phone number would be in there, and they weren't. So, I lost everything. Uh, so, I lost her number again. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Luckily, uh, Rob called me today, so I have his number now, and Drunk Uncle texted me, so I have his number. So, um, if... Hold on, I gotta get these dogs. Hey, get out of the trash! All of you guys. Oh, they're trying to get in their dog food bag. Because it's like dog food. It's dinner time. Yeah, I hear you, Brownie. I know what you're doing. Jeff Mack has your back. A bunch of yesterdays in a stream. Right on. Cool. You have a challenge for me. What's my challenge? Can you call your server? You, they can retrieve, possibly. It's, it's an iPhone. So I was trying to get my... Um, uh, contacts from there. Who the hell writes for the Fresno Bee? And what, so check this out. So what's funny is, uh, the police were like being totally cool with me. So they come up and they're like, hey, there's somebody out there. Uh, there's somebody out there, um, uh, videotaping Eddie. I just want to let you know, you want me to go check who they are? Do you know these people? And I was like, well, what do they look like? And so he went out and came back. He's like, oh yeah, it's this, your city council member. So... They're the one that took the picture and sent it out. And the Fresno Bee says uh, they didn't want to be identified. <laughs> it's like, well, you shouldn't have told the police officers who you were. Because they told me who you are. Because the cops are on my side. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, they say white boys are, are... Yeah, Fresno Bee did a really bad one on me. They talk about the fact that I had a DUI. Which, you know what? Everybody makes... Uh, or stuff happens, you know? So... I can't even talk about that yet because they haven't charged me. And it's been almost a year, so. Uh, my lawyer says I can't talk about that at all. Um, because I have, he, it's nothing really what, what they said. Did I see your email? You know what? Um, I only thing I have is this new phone that I got and I haven't set up the emails yet. Oh, I just got a text message from my lovely girl, uh, Agnes Gibney. She's going to be on Fox & Friends in the morning at 3.15 in the morning. Holy jeez. So if you guys want to watch Fox & Friends tomorrow, you're going to see my favorite person, my angel mom, Agnes Gibney. Wait, what's this? She, she just sent me a story. Oh, see? Agnes Gibney. She's going to be on Fox & Friends tomorrow. I, don't, I can't show you anymore because... I, her phone number shows, and I don't want everybody calling her, and she gets mad at me. Interview on Fox & Friends, Saturday, 23rd, 2021. Oh, that was this morning. Oh, I missed it. She was on this morning. Um, I got to text her back real quick. Uh, Rob, did you still want to call in? Because what I did is, my friend... Um, uh, my friend uh, gave me another phone, so I'm filming on the new phone, which is not connected to my cell phone. And I have a phone you can call me on if you wanted to call in, buddy. Because I know you said you wanted to call in. Hard luck survival. 
Eddie, get rid of that phone they gave you. I know, right? It might be a... I tried to use it and it didn't work. So, I don't even know what I did with it. Yeah, it's one of these track... Track phone? Track phone? <laughs> he gave me a flip phone. <laughs> Aren't those good burner phones, though? No, no, that's not Don. This is... This is Jackie, huh, Wacky? <coughs> wacky and Panda. Hi, Wacky. Hi, Papas. Yes. You guys never get to see Jackie, really. You would get out of the house. Kind of hard to get out of your house when you own it and you have nowhere else to go with four dogs or five dogs. Is it an Obama phone? I don't know. It might be. Oh, wait, I guess I should turn my phone to ring. Oh, thank you, Eddie. Plebe Media is trying to get in touch with me. Um, you know, who is Plebe Media? Um, I, I spend so much time working on my channel. Um, but I don't, I don't know who that is. Because, you know what, when you spend so much time on your channel, it's hard to see. Um, uh, let me see if I can check my emails. Which email did you guys send it to? Oh, you like my dogs? Yeah, let's see. This is my Pitbull Sugar. Hi, sugar. Hi, mamas. Yeah, she's your pretty girl, huh? And then this is Panda Bear. Say hi, Panda Bear. And that's my big St. Bernard, Jackie. He wants you to rub his belly. Here comes Brownie. Here's a little browners. Where's Donnie? Donnie! Don, Donnie. Donald J. Trump is somewhere. He's probably in the backyard. He likes to go outside. Thank you. I love my... Yeah, I love my dogs. I got the best dogs in the world. And I got a badass cat. So, what's funny is... When I was out there with the with the cops in the front... The, um... Well, I don't have an attorney, David. So, I don't know what to say. When am I getting my computers back? They said they'll get them back whenever they, uh... Whenever they have a chance. Alright, Rob. You can call. I got my phone right here. So, you can call my cell phone. Let's see, is that turned up? Yeah, that's, that's turned on. I'm trying to keep it safe because Ty... Oh, wait, who just called? Sorry, Rob, I missed you. There you go, hello? Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Let me turn this shit down. Turn you down. <laughs> yeah, turn me the hell down, gosh darn it. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? I just saw plebe, plebe Media write something. Okay. Can you hear better now, Catherine? Plebe, plebe Media. Or pleb Media. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Don. His name is Don, they say. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I, you know, I spend so much time working on my channel, I don't watch it. They don't have a case, David. And can I throw this out? Yeah. Yo, I'm getting annoyed, and I don't know, I don't know what I've done personal. He's got to... He's got to be like, fuck it, or fix it. That was at dawn break. Um, David, uh, what they do, all right, uh, and this is the truth, what they do is if they, if he had footage of Antifa or anybody in that, okay, that if that were around the Capitol building, they're going to get a timeline together. I, if they wanted any, they would have taken him yesterday, and they didn't want him. They just, I, I think that a lot of paranoia is going out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And nobody's really messed with you today, have they? That's what I came in, I started reading this shit, and I'm going like, holy moly, did something else happen? Yeah. You know what I mean? And get some, I do not have your number. Yeah. Um. You know, somebody thing, emailed uh, me your, a number to give to you. I haven't done it yet, Rob. I got to get my email going again. Um. Yeah, well, we, 
we'll worry about that in a minute. You know yeah. what I mean? We're, we're all in here and we're showing you support and we're, we're showing that we care. And we really appreciate everybody being in here. You know yeah, what I, I do. mean? Yeah. And, that, and, that, and we really do. But let's not create more paranoia that needs to be created. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, I, I mean in reality. And does anybody want to hear about what our channel is going to be about or not? Yeah, let's you talk. Know, let's I'm talk about sure. our new channel that we're gonna have. Well, you're gonna have, and I'm gonna be part of, I guess. Well, you're definitely gonna be a part of it. We were, we're already working that out. We haven't talked a lot about it, but we will. All right. Yeah. We decided to call it the um, the hard luck uh, <laughs> hard luck survival because we're not about to be stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're gonna show basic survival tactics. Being able to use pretty much anything around you, and it's going to be um. Hey, can you? Gonna be just a, can I stop you for one real quick second? Uh, that plebe media is asking me how to get a hold of me. Uh, email me at eddieblockfilms at gmail dot com. Eddieblockfilms at gmail dot com. Fair enough. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. A anyway, hit that like, everybody, if you can. You know what I mean. But the whole point I'm getting at is we're just going to make a really fun channel. We're going to do news. Um, we're also going to do protests because I know everybody likes the protests. Mm -hmm. To see what's going on out there, and we'll be involved in that. But um, that's the kind of that's the content on it. We're going to make it a really fun channel. That and you're gonna you're gonna take a cripple guy like me, and you're gonna teach him how to survive in the wilderness. Exactly, but. See, survival isn't that hard. You just don't die. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I see Janine Spratz in here, and she's telling her to get that like. Thank you, guys. And I seen Irma was in here earlier, and um, I, I haven't seen her lately. But um, it's great to have you here. It's great to have all of our regulars in the house, and it's great to have the new ones in the house. Oh, yeah, you definitely. I mean? And... Um, I'm, I'm proud of all of you for being here. You're showing a lot of support and love to Eddie, and I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Said, he said, start a stash spot. That's, that's true. You know, in, in reality, that's true. You guys have got to um, so, Jerry. know the area, know your own environment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Eddie's Rob military. <laughs> yeah, he's a 30-year Marine. How about that for, for military service for you? But, but anyway, a longer story short, um, a lot of stuff in survival is just using common sense. They tell you to spend a billion dollars and buy all this food that um, costs two billion bucks to um, even get started. So what if it has a 25-year shelf life? You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Corey. I'm glad to see you here. Oh, Michelle found me in Portland, and she says she's a, a Mexican lady. I'm like, hell yeah, you know I love the Mexican ladies. Yeah, we know. Because cause I'm not, no, I'm saying because they say I'm a racist guy, but yet why do I talk to all kinds of people? Because you're a horny racist guy. <laughs> I talk to guys, though, too, so. Yeah, they had the guns drawn, yep. Well, they, they, anytime, they, anytime they enter in a, a building, they're going to do that, so. Yeah. I think they're doing their job. They're doing what they're supposed to do, and and we just gotta let the shit play out. You know what I mean? It's they're doing their job, and if if Eddie has footage of that cheap, it's gonna help out enormously in in the reality of things. They've already found that cheap of members in the um in the Capitol. We need to know who instigated that. You know what I mean? And if Eddie had footage of that, that's huge. Yeah. But I, I honestly don't, because I was so far away from the action that I don't even think I... Well, you weren't in the action. You weren't in the Capitol. Yeah. Everybody knows you weren't in the Capitol. You were on the stairs. Yeah. And Janet Noel said, and all the ladies love Eddie. That, <laughs> you know, that's probably true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I'm getting the wrong narrative here. Maybe, maybe we should do nude camping and um, nude survival. I think people would I pay more that. money for me to put my clothes on than to take them off. Me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm, I'm thinking that um, a lot of the thing is. Oh, thank you, Jay Bird, um, for your service. Thanks, all the vets in here. I, I'm having a hard time keeping up with the chat and keeping my mind on um, 
Uh, what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Thank you, Jaybird. Um, Drew. Yeah, I, I can't. I think I'm only seeing. I'm only seeing like half of the messages. I think because I'm on my phone. Yeah, you probably are. You don't have the kind of view I have right now, and. Yeah. You know, but I don't. I. And Catherine, I, you know, she'll know what I'm getting at, and you'll know what I'm getting at, too. I don't want to do what QTT Live does. Uh -huh. It's just too hard to, to roll through it and everybody's saying it. It's not that what you're saying is important. What you're saying is very important. Catherine just said, um, God, and I kind of got a kick out of that. I got it. The way God made it, LOL. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah. And any, anyway, you know, longer story short, we're going to put together a really fun channel, and we're going to make it so that everybody has fun. But um, a lot of this survival, a lot of stuff they tell you you need, you don't need. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you, Irma. <clears throat> yeah. Much love to... Again, Irma said, uh, much love, Rob and Eddie. Love you guys. Keep up the good work. Man. You know, we are patriots. We are patriots, and we care about our country. But I don't know if anybody that would have agreed with um, storming the Capitol or... Or going in, we're we're patriots, and we know that stuff had to play out. And I got to admit that I was kind of pissed off when everything went down because they disturbed the um, Congress from doing their job. But I don't think it takes much for them not to do their job anymore at this point. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, and we're rolling over. I mean, they rolled over and they blamed the patriots for doing it. But I, Antifa was going nuts all, all year round, and they didn't even show. They didn't even show the crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, they didn't that, even show them. You had, to, you, you had to go on the YouTube to find it. Then when YouTube said, oh, my God, all these people are seeing it, right? Yeah. Well, and, and then that John that Sullivan guy, so they have video of that John Sullivan guy in there. He's Antifa, but yet they let him go he without bear. Arrested, yeah. He was arrested in, um, excuse me, in Salt Lake. I was in bed with, when, um, when drunk uncle called me. You know oh, were you? I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got tired. I got real busy today, and our channel is up, but it isn't going yet. You know what I mean? Sure. I mean, it's up. It's ready to go. All we got to do is get some, um, we got the name, we got the, the channel up. We're just going to have to get a lot of subscription, put in painting and it's John, it's John Sullivan, and he was arrested in um, Salt Lake last summer. You know, if we're doing the same shit there, so yeah. here, here's where we're at with all this. You know, we're we're patriots. We didn't we didn't want to. Um, and I and, and as a patriot, I'm speaking for a lot of people. Nobody wanted what happened. You know what I mean? It was a few bad apples, and they spoiled the bunch for all of us because I really wanted to see what was going to happen, and maybe um, even if. Even if they would have lost the electoral college shit, at least they would have had a chance to say it. Schumer said something incited an erection. I love that one, Julie yeah. G. Yeah, he incited a lot of erections for me, too. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but Nancy Pelosi gets my erection to go away. Yeah, she, she definitely would make your dick go inwards. And Catherine said, the uh, pages were not... Black, just bright lights flooding the words out. You know, and, and I think a lot of us have that black light going on that floods words out because they're teaching us not to listen to one another. Have you noticed that, Eddie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and if, we, if we don't listen to one another, how do we ever work anything out? Oh, man, I'm sorry, but Jesse Martinez just said he'd take one for the team. I'm uh. No way. Well, Jesse Martinez would take one for the team. You'd laugh it out loud. <laughs> well, he'll be up the Hillary, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Anyway. Man. Yeah, I would, I would have Plea what? Media on if they wanted to come on. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Do you want me off? Um, no, uh, I mean, I'll let you finish what you're saying, what you're saying. I don't even know how to get a hold of Plea Media right now. I don't want to say my phone number on the air, so. No, you don't. And, um, yeah, just rip your email out, Adam. You can get your email, can't you? Yeah, but not when, when you're, if, if I take the phone away to look at my email, then they're not going to hear you. Well, who needs to hear me? Hold what on. You guys, would you rather listen to Eddie than me? Hold on, let's see. 
Somebody, see, I'm getting all kinds of texts. That's a problem. I get too much text and stuff. Okay, he emailed me. Let me, um, I don't even think I have that email hooked up yet on my phone. Let me go and do it. Um, phone number sent to you an email, brother. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. From Pro Mail, so it's going to take a damned minute to get through. Oh, is, a, is Proton Mail pretty slow? Uh, let me see. Let me switch over to my other. I'm in the wrong email. And my cat's freaking messing with my door. My cat knows that if she sets off my ring alarm outside, then I will open up the door for her. That's a smart cat. Yeah, she is. In fact, oh, speaking of her, so she was trying... Yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, now I'm trying to remember because I had to change my password for it. Oh shoot! You can't remember your password. Well, because I needed to give Gray access to it, so I changed the password to what my normal password is. Um, I think I remember it. Let me see. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. I got, got it. it, but now I got to try another way. They got to send me a message. Can't use your phone. Do you want me to get off and then you can handle this? Um, yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me call you right got back, it. guys. Because I'm trying to do too many things at once. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Gosh darn it. See, I changed my password because Gray... Gray runs my life now, and Gray has all my passwords for it. Or Gray, I didn't want her having all my passwords. Um, I can't talk about why I'm not a, a proud boy anymore. Um, but yeah, I was. Uh, I am no longer a proud boy since last week. Right after I got back from the cat capital. Okay, check your phone. Google sent notification to your f to your phone. How do I get it from my... It's going to my other phone, I think, though, is the problem. Because I got the right password, but it says I have to accept the information on my phone. That sucks. Um, boop, boop, boop. Hey, Drunk Uncle, do you have a way to contact uh, Pleb? Pleb? I don't even... I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Can you give them my number? Drunk Uncle, can you send them my number? Cause it's trying to send a me a, a message to my other phone, which the which the FBI has. Um, I don't know. Uh, do you have um? Let's see. Doesn't it go through Google? Yeah, it does go through Google, but I don't have a Google app on this 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 phone right here. See, guys, look, it's telling me I have to go and go on my phone. Son of a gun. Wait a minute. You know what I'll do? Hey, uh, uh, do you have um, Skype? Let me download Skype onto this phone real quick, and you guys can call me through Skype. How about that? Let me uh, let me download Skype real quick, guys. My Skype is live dot eddie zero four zero eight. Let me download Skype to this phone. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't even know where anything is on this phone. App Store. There we go. Yeah, if I had a laptop, but I don't have my my laptop any. <laughs> they took my laptop, my iMac, and my backup computer, which has Windows XP on it. So now the question is, if I log into Skype, God damn it, cat! If I log into Skype, are they gonna require the same thing? Uh, it's live. Here, I'll show, I'll show everybody right now. Let me open it up. Let me log in. And it should show me my Skype account. Sign in. This is where we need Gray because she has all my information. I miss, I miss Gray. I hope she's okay. But I can't call her because I don't know her number right now. All 
I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. I downloaded the app. Password. Great. Got to remember all these freaking passwords. The other thing is, I'm just going through a divorce, so I changed all my passwords to everything. Be the right password. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Continue. Continue. Okay. Okay. Allow. 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 All right. So, let me see if I can show you what mine is. My Skype profile is... So, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's live. No, you can't see it. It's live. Uh, what is that? Semicolon. Eddie0408. Let me see if I can type it in. I don't have message. I have Facebook Messenger, but I'm kicked off of Facebook for being at the Capitol. I got it copied here. So let me see if I can text message it to myself, and then I can. Let's see. Oh, cool. Let me see if I can text it to myself, guys. Um. Oh, there we go. Somebody's call. Is this you? Oh, there we go. I'm calling you right now, buddy. All right. Let me call you. What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm doing. I, I hear you got fucked. Basically, yeah. And they, they didn't give me any Vaseline or anything, man. Right, like they, they just went in raw and called it a good day. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, uh, I know that we share a decent amount of chat, and I know that random people reaching out to you from the internet is like, uh, yeah, so that's totally real. I promise you, our, our shared subscribers will be like, yeah, that's Don. That, that's Radio Voice Guy. No, that's cool. Uh, and, you know, I'm sorry if I've never seen your show. Like, I'm sure you know, when you're so busy working on your own personal show, that um, it's hard to oh. see others. Man, it, it still don't even... Don't even, right? Like, I, I found out who you were today, literally today, because people were like, oh, my God, dude, you hear about this guy who got raided by the FBI and got everything taken out of his house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, no, don't worry about it at all. I totally understand. Uh, that said, th this thing that I am doing these days is uh, everybody who gets, like, screwed by the FBI these days, that sort of thing, uh -huh. it, it's time to uh get up get after it you know uh go we'll like figure out what it's going to take you to replace what it is that you had and we should definitely go fundraise that like all day tomorrow okay you don't want to know how much i spend on video equipment <laughs> and i i know how much you spend on video equipment <laughs> like, yeah. it's expensive yeah uh, you know there's there's probably five thousand dollars sitting six feet in front of me, and that's not including the mic that I'm talking into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just my. I I bought a 2017 iMac fully loaded, so just that alone is, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> yep. That, I mean that's how it is, man. But yeah. Like the simple reality is, uh, I I wish that I had some. You know, I, I wish I was a couple hundred thousand subscriber channel. I'd be like, yeah, man, we'll get you like ten grand in a hot minute. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm, like, roughly the same size you are, uh, but uh, I know, I know that my my channel is happy to advertise and happy to donate money. So right on. we can definitely get after this. Uh, so, I don't know, are you busy tomorrow? <laughs> no, uh, uh, not till tomorrow night, but, yeah, during the day, I'm not busy at all. I'm good, man. Like, like uh, what time zone are you in? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm California, so I'm Pacific. Are you so East Coast? Talking. No, I'm I'm Texas. Oh, okay. Well, that's so, not too bad. Yeah, it's just a couple hours. But, yeah. Uh, probably morning-ish for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, and then uh, I I see chat already, and they are right. You know, GoFundMe sucks. That is that is true. Uh, yeah. If you go to Fundly, uh -huh. um, Fundly is a, a sort of right-wingish sort of. Uh, it's just not 
caring about your politics kind of uh, donation center. Uh huh. Um, literally, I spent I don't know about three hours today raising money for somebody who is is fighting the Phoebes simply for being in DC on the six. Really? Like they, didn't, they didn't go into the building. None of that nonsense. Um, just they were physically in the city. And that was enough for the feds to go after him. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And and I was actually, you know, I was on top of the Capitol, you know. I don't know if you, well, you just met, you just found out about me today, but I was filming live from top of the Capitol. I didn't go inside, though. I didn't go anywhere near the inside. I, I know the feeling. We were probably about 10 feet from each other. <laughs> yeah, probably. And, you know, like, what's funny is, had I been up there when they broke in through... Just out of curiosity, my stupid ass probably would have been like, hey, let's go look inside the Capitol, you know? Mm -hmm. So I am glad I'm crippled and couldn't make it up those stairs, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know I know the feeling, man. Like, had, had I not physically been where I was doing exactly what I was doing, I'd have been that retard that was in the Capitol, and I'd be over there begging for donations for myself right now. <laughs> yeah. In all, all reality, I was just on Capitol grounds, that's it. Yeah, same here, same here. I, uh, in fact, um, like, I remember there's some guy in front of me that he comes, there's some guy that comes running out, his eyes are watering from mace, and, uh, he looks at me, and then he's like, come on, you motherfuckers, there's more of us than them, and then he goes running right back in, and I was just like, holy shit, what the hell is going on up there, <laughs> you know? Wait, did, did that guy have a giant beard? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, do you have a gray hat on? I'm not sure. I, I I would go look at my video footage, but um, unfortunately, I don't have it. Yeah. You know. That's, that's how that goes. And like, honestly, there's another guy there that had a big beard, and he got sprayed pretty hard. And he's sitting in front of me, uh, crying from tears. And everybody starts chanting, you know, something about the police, and he's just like chanting right along. I was just like, holy shit. see what i can do about video were you uh so were you sitting right next where you did you have a guy on a scooter sitting in front of you mm, i don't know man i was getting pepper sprayed like every 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> it might have been you yeah yeah uh, let me let me see if i can who do i need to call after the live who are you talking to let me see if i can find a camera for you because i like there are zero people who see me and don't know my face yeah. Literally zero. So. Uh, let me get rid of that. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. There we go. Oh, man. That's why. Never mind. I gotta, like, this is going to take me a minute because I'm a retard. No problem. Yeah, I could also, use a hug. I've been, I've been drinking for, like, hours. <laughs> oh, there you go. Not me, not today. Not today. Oh my god. Yeah, the cops yes. the cops came out of my house and they're like, So you like to drink Crown Royal, huh? It's like how'd you tell? I mean like yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the right answer. Yeah. Right? I, I see you're proud American. I'm not saying anything I, that I did wrong. I was right in front of I there's there's video footage of everything I'm talking about, so uh oh, drunk so, wants you to have a drink. Hell yes. Uh, yes okay, uh, there we. All right. So this is this is all fucked up, and I would be more professional under any other circumstance, but it's not any other circumstance. So, oh, there we go. You got a camera now? Oh, hold on. Let me go back to you. Yeah. Oh, I see you now. There we go. Yeah. So. Love the beard. Uh, some beard. <laughs> That's yeah. All I'm saying. That's why I asked if it was a guy with a giant beard because I'm pretty unmistakable apparently. <laughs> mm. I was wearing this exact pleb hat. Uh, it's why I asked if there was a guy with a gray, uh, gray hat. Uh, and I was also wearing a brown jacket. Uh, if you were facing the Capitol, I was on the right hand side. Okay. No, I was. I don't know. I was at the very. I was. I was on the left hand side, I think. Gotcha. Because there's that so, big tower in the middle, right? You're talking about that big tower yeah. in the middle? I was to the left. If you're facing the Capitol, I was to the left of that big tower. 
Yes, I was mostly on the right-hand side. I was also the guy that was walking through later in the night going, anybody want water? Water. I have water. Anybody want water? Okay, I think Uh, I may have seen you then, yeah. Yeah. So, I was that guy. I was around. Um, Bro, you're doxing yourself? Whatever, man. I dox myself all the time. Like, I, again, I'm literally in the phone book for anyone who's never looked me up. You you can find my last name in about two seconds as well as my address. Same thing I here. I live in Texas, so if you if you think you're a hard ass and want to come to my house, maybe you should check my local self-defense laws before you come here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of big-ass dogs, so... Yep. Yeah, well, I, I, got, I, got, I got me a couple of big-ass dogs, and... Uh, a few sad and tragic boating accidents that have occurred. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Anyways, everybody's saying I'm saying too much. I don't know. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know, man. Don't, don't put yourself at any more risk than uh, you need to. That's for damn sure. I mean, like, Fed's already been in your house, so fuck all that shit. But, yeah. uh, no, seriously, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, if you're down, um, literally hit me up when you get up we'll 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 start some uh some stream action you know i mean get the coffee in you or whatever because it'll probably take at least a couple hours yeah um but figure out what it'll take to get you back up and running um clearly don't don't come down to me with like oh i need a hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's <laughs> yeah and, yeah uh, you know if you're like hey man it's gonna take me 2500 bucks to get back up and running because uh, you know I, I saw the setup there the mic's still there it looks like there's some cables still there yeah um, you know I mean you're looking at me you you got the same mic I do I know how that shit is <laughs> yeah exactly you got the same shore that I do mm-hmm. yeah yeah I love that mic that mic is awesome it is yeah, that that SMB7 is good stuff oh yeah um, but you know it, it it takes a focus right. It, you know, I, I got the cloud filter on the other side of it. It's it's a couple hundred dollars uh, outside of the mic just to get that guy running. Yeah. So, but, you know, it, it, for the rest of it, figure out, like, take take the next day or so. Figure out what it'll take you to take you to get up and going again. And uh, go go over to, who the hell is that? I just said it. Uh, Fundly, set that guy up. Um, you know, I, I just spent a couple hours today. Uh, solely streaming for somebody to have some legal defense. Wow. So I'm, I'm perfectly down. Let's do it. Yeah. Right on. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, actually, you know what? Drunk uh, said he could send me some XLR cables. That's the one thing they didn't take was my XLR cables. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, it, you know, thank God, because they're not very expensive, but God, are they a pain in the ass to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find any one day, so I had, I went down to this music store and had to buy like seventy five dollar XLR cables one day. Mm-hmm. So I don't let those out of my yep. sight. Yep, that sounds right. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's some it's some straight up like uh, this is dumb. It should be a ten dollar cable. Why am I paying fifty bucks for this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Freaking. So. Hey, hey, uh, Drunk Uncle. Thanks, brother, for linking the channel, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for hooking us up, man. I gotta, as soon as I get a chance, I'll go over and like and subscribe to your channel, too. Oh, it, it's good, man. You Oops. know, uh, uh, look, th- this is, it, until further notice, this is not about me, right? Like, you know, if if it comes to that time or, or whatever that it's about me, then, like, good. I'm happy that there will be people who are willing to get up and get after it. But, like, in the meantime, I'm not the guy the feds are coming down on, like, a ton of bricks. Yeah. Um, and if we're not looking after each other now, when the hell are we looking after each other? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And luckily, because they weren't investigating me at all, they didn't, really, they didn't ask me any questions. I'm just like... They're like, we don't want you, we just want your equipment. So I just sat there and... <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah. kind of happy I wasn't going to jail, to be honest. So. Uh, look, man, I don't even blame you. Uh, that that said, you know, I, I watched that first stream that you put out where you were like, guys, I just got a new phone. And like, I swear to God, this is all I have. And I was like, oh, man, no streamer would do that if they didn't have to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, you know, if, you, if, if once you see some of my videos, I mean, I film everything in 4K if I can. You know, freaking. Yep. yep. 
That's why people like my videos because they can actually see it. It's not some government phone, you know that. <laughs> yep. Like 1080p is is lower level. That like that's the line. That's what we've got to get here. Yeah. And I I watched that video and it was like blown out ass audio and it was like yes 720p 1080p and I was like man that guy's there's no way this dude hit 8,000 subscribers with that yeah <laughs> you know? oh yeah yeah no that's you know everybody when they watch my video like wow your video is always so clear and it's like well yeah because I spent money on my equipment you know oh, you know what I mean like pe people don't understand what I spent money on my equipment means right they're like oh yeah you put 500 bucks in I'm like no I'm I'm like eight grand in. <laughs> <You know? laughs> just, just my, my my wireless mics alone costs like a thousand bucks. <laughs> exactly. You know. Exactly. And then I I have a 360 camera that everybody really loves. You know. Oh, those things are wild. Yeah. I was yet to invest invest in one, but. Uh... Well, if you call the FBI, you can borrow mine. <laughs> <laughs> send it back to you that's yeah. what i'm saying <laughs> actually they're gonna be pissed because you know uh when i logged into my iphone i changed my password because you know of course you're gonna change your password right and i think yep. that shut down every other device that you know they took my ipad well that has they the password's changed now so i don't know what they're gonna do uh, but you know what honestly and i i can't say this enough fuck them uh look Look, if, if you were, I don't know, burning down the White House or something, I honestly would not care if they took your shit. Yeah. But if, if you're a guy who walked out to a protest with a camera and they took everything you have, fuck them. Fuck them as hard as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, so the stream that you were on with me before, that I bought the cheapest iPhone I could buy to get by so I can log into my stuff. So it's like an SE right. or something like that, you know? Go down there, get four or five generations old iPhone. Like, what cost a hundred dollars, please? <laughs> yeah. Well, and see, the biggest problem is I just bought an iPhone 12 Pro, and so you know how they Jesus. do it. You pay monthly on it, right? Well, they wouldn't give me a new phone until I paid that phone off. So yeah. this little cheap piece of junk phone that you pay two hundred dollars for actually ended up costing me twelve hundred bucks out the door. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, so, so that's another thing, right? Like, so I, you know, I, I, I'm not kidding when I say, you know, don't don't come to me with a hundred thousand dollars or anything. But like, yeah. whatever it takes to pay off that phone, get you basically back to where you were. Like, if it's five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars, which are all totally reasonable numbers in my opinion, uh, then you know, throw it down. Um, you know, if you show up with fifty, a hundred thousand dollars, nobody's gonna care. They're gonna yeah. be like, "Oh yeah, whatever, bro. You just want fifty, hundred thousand dollars." But uh, you, you know how it is. You're you're big enough that people have come to you and been like, "Yeah, man, I I have a total hardship because I lost my car, so I need a new Beamer." Like, no, you don't. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my hands are getting tired holding up two phones here. Oh, don't worry about it, man. Just just set me down wherever's comfortable. You there we go. Need to be fucking... Yeah, there you go. Ceiling's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. Yeah. You gotta be professional with me. It's cool. I call myself pleb. It can't be that bad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. What's up, Brownie? Oh, Brownie wants to go through hide everybody, so... Hi, Brownie. But yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, you know, a lot of my cameras were like backup cameras, you know, in case the stream goes down and, you know, you know how YouTube is, so when you're live and in public and, but, uh, the main thing is, you know, having a computer again that actually fast mm -hmm. enough to go live with, you know? Oh, that, that's the reality, right? Like, people really underestimate what having a nice PC is about, right? Oh, yeah. Um. You know, like, oh, you could go live with anything. Sure you could. You'll get 15 frames a second at 720p, uh, and it'll be complete garbage, and everyone will hate it. Yeah. And that's just how it is. And everybody that's listening to our show right now is like, what the heck is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, so, yeah, I, so here's a good way to explain it, folks. So I, I have a... Uh, out all the time. Yeah, I have a MacBook Pro that I take with me when I'm, when I'm out and about. 
and just 1080p footage if, if for like a five minute video to render it takes about an hour and a half on that on that i i, I uh on my macbook pro now when i come to my big imac computer that i have sitting at my house two minutes and 30 seconds later i'm done that's the difference yeah. between having a good computer and it's like dial-up versus uh high-speed internet oh man that's a fact right like, yeah so I, I fairly recently upgraded the desktop that I, I stream and render with, and uh, you know it, it, it was it was the difference of like a render takes about one minute per minute of video because I, I had a decently high speed machine uh, previously, and it, it was taking about one minute of video was one minute of render, and I upgraded my machine basically because I you know told the audience like well look you know it's it's time to do other stuff. Um, and not the least of which is I have a social media that can't be canceled because the server is four feet to my left, right? Nice. Like no one is kicking you off because oh. it's physically mine. And I, I took my old machine and I made that the server that we're all working with. Right. Uh, -huh. uh and then I, I was like, look, uh, if you're willing to support me getting a new, new streaming PC, new, new rendering machine, this is what's going to happen. And a whole bunch of people were like, yeah, totally, let's do it. So we got that done. Now I render at about a minute of video takes anywhere between three and about eight seconds. Give it yeah. to <laughs> and it's amazing. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome, man. That, that said, uh, no joke, we all need to move to Linux. I hate to be that guy. I'm running Windows 10 right now, but we all need to move to Linux. Yeah. The only, you know, the reason why I use all my iMac stuff is, well, I'm used to it, number one. But I can ha I can have a, I can do something on my cell phone and just go right to my, and take it over right from my iMac. Because they're all, it's, everything's combined, you know? Yeah. So that's yeah, why no, I like I'm, iMac. I'm with you. I mean, that, that's, that's the Google of too, right? You know, like, I can, uh... I, I can I can record some video. I can send it over to my Google Cloud. Then I can bring it back to my PC through Google, and then I can edit it. And it's all whatever I recorded it in, just raw video, and it's amazing. Honestly, it does like we need to give up some convenience because things are about to get bad. Yeah, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Yep, and it's just. Like, I, I wish I was being an asshole about that, but I, look, man, the FBI raised your ass, like, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Dude, and, and like, you know, they're, they're not just coming after me. They're coming after a whole bunch of people, it sounds like, so. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong, right? You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's time to look. If the FBI wants to come for your stuff, then fine, lock it all down. Lock it all down. Yeah. Straight up. You, uh, you you want to take my PC? Cool. It's worthless to you. I understand that means you'll never give it back, but you were never going to anyway. So nothing was lost for me, but now you get nothing. Yeah. Well, like, I, I, when I watched the video back, they had they had big, huge bars. You know, they were going to break my door down whether I let them in or not. You know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, I might as well at least protect my door so I can shut it later on tonight. You know? <laughs> I, I wish that was a joke. I wish it was like, uh, hey, uh, you know, how about I don't let you in? And then they were like, oh, okay, we'll come back later. But no, they just come by with a giant battering ram and call it a day. Yeah, there's like 25 uh, guys Uncle, there. Uh, drunk Uncle Don, is Unix not a thing anymore? I'm old. Unix is still a thing, but Unix's encryption sucks. Um, and, and Linux is just Unix advanced by about... 20 years with current encryption i mean honestly that's that's what we're talking about here so it's not like a 10 run 20 go to 10. <laughs> oh man not not anymore right so like, I, i've been an anti-linux guy ish for a bunch of years but uh when i when i set up the server um i, I don't know about a month and a half two months ago uh, uh, it's all running on Linux, and uh, I, I, I had I, I had a developer guy that I work with, right? Yeah. And when I opened it all up, I was like, "Wow, this works like 
what else? <laughs> right? Like, this is not the Unix of old. It, it is not all command line bullshit. It's not a clunky GUI anymore. It's you know, they, you know, the the commands are different, but generally speaking, you you could reasonably get along with this. And uh, it was it was really pretty nice. I was pretty surprised. Right on. Yeah, I am. Um, you know, I go to my stepdad's house, and he's like, "My computer's not working. Help me!" And it's a Windows computer, and I'm like, "I'm like, why? Why isn't the double click work? You know, it's so weird going from, <laughs> you know, from a Mac back why to." Why doesn't a, it work like I wanted to? Yeah, <laughs> and and have you ever seen that that show, uh, Modern Family? I mean, at least once. Well, they have I this. Don't, I don't want to... So. They had this one video where they mess around with the old guy because they're they're trying to teach him a double click and he's like double click right, and that's my eighty five year old stepdad. I'm like I'm like you gotta watch this video and he's like what are you trying to say that's me and I was like yeah because he doesn't yes, know how to double you. click. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe we have two hundred and five people watching us talk about this. Oh man, uh, I, I should I should probably freaking chill this thing or something but uh honestly i've been drinking for like fucking eight hours so <laughs> oh we're now to 208 um, uh, whatever man they it's, just want to uh, see me show my all... boobs that's all they want yeah um but no it, it's uh so so by the way I, I guess i guess i should address all of the things because um uh, I'm sure you know how this is. If you've ever talked or watched somebody talk about someone else on someone else's channel, right? Uh -huh. Like, so, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that if you hang out here long enough talking about me, you'll hear that, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm literally Hitler or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You should have seen what the news said about me this week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, one, this is how the internet works. Two, that's how the feds work. So, you know, um, whatever. But uh, look, for, for the various people who are going to come by who watch this, and they're like, oh, my God, Don. Don, you should hate him. I, I'm, it's not going to happen. Yeah. right? And, unless something comes out tomorrow where they're like, oh, man, Eddie Block is a kid tusher. Because, by the way, if it comes out that you're a kid tusher tomorrow, I do hate you. Uh, so you don't got to worry about that. that. Like, we could talk. <laughs> yeah. No, they're just, they're just trying to say I'm racist, you know, and I'm a white supremacist, right? You know, but and, what they don't know is my wife was Mexican. So, yeah, I'm a big-time fucking racist, right? A lot of my yeah. friends are, you know, black and Mexican. Oh, yeah, racist. What? Why, why, do you, why do you hate Mexican women so much that you will marry them? Why? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, what else? Oh, no, I, I, I did a stupid thing and got a DUI a while ago. Well, you know what? Shit happens, right? Well, hey, look, whether or not you should or should not get a DUI is not for me to fucking comment on. I, again, my, my lines are pretty simple. You're, you're like, it, I don't know, There there's some, maybe if you were some sort of mass murderer or some shit, like, okay, fine, maybe you're not a good guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, you're, you're, a, you're a fucking serial rapist, okay, you're not a good guy. You're, you're a kid toucher, okay, you're not a good guy. After that, if the left is calling you names, you're probably my friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you, that, know? you know, with the FBI showing up at my, at my door, you know what that told me? That's like, hey, I must be doing something right. Know what I mean? I'm yeah. over the fucking target. That's what it means. Freaking, uh, and you know what's funny is, so like, you know, I go out there, me and my buddy, once a month to go feed the homeless, right? Uh, four times a year I go to the Fresno VA hospital and, and donate stuff to the veterans. They never put that shit on there, you know? Only Fresno that. Fresno VA hospital. Yeah. Where are you at, brother? I'm Where a, are you at? Like, I'm in a little Central town. Central California is what it sounds like to me. Central California is exactly where I am. So, I used to live in Sacramento. <laughs> right on. So, I uh, live in Madera. I don't know if you know where that is. I know where that is. <laughs> so. Like, I lived in Sacramento, and I, I traveled regularly from about Shasta to uh, San Diego. So Oh, you drove right by my you. house every other day, then it sounds like. <laughs> right? I got you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I used to, like, a year ago, I used to run a show uh, called uh, The Democratic People's Republic of California because it was such a fucking shit show. 
And, I mean, it didn't stop being a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just got busy. Yeah, that's crazy here. I mean, I think I think California taught the rest of the United States how to how to cheat on. Oh wait, I don't think we should say this. How to, you know, work around the voting systems. Is that a good way to say it without getting kicked off of YouTube? <laughs> how, how to finesse the results? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay if I run this uh, vote for Biden through twenty times? You know. I don't know. Fuck it. Just do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Is it all right if we say that 25 votes came from this one, uh, you know, P.O. box? And by by the way, if you think that's related to this election, you just don't know California election history because that's every fucking year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my buddy, uh, my buddy, Johnny Teixeira, you know, he was winning election night. All of a sudden, all these thousands of votes came in and freaking Jim Costa won, you know? Freaking Democrat. Gee, I oh, wonder how that happened. Oh, that guy. Oh, oh you know Jim Costa? Shit. Yeah. Oh, I know Jim Acosta. Like, I, I think I have met Jim Acosta, and no. he is a piece of shit. It's not Acosta, it's just Jim Costa. Uh, whatever. Yeah. You know what it is? Who, who's that other, that, uh, the, the CNN asshole? That's Jim, that's Jim Acosta, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, well, welcome to, I got out of California and I'm not balls deep in their politics anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. And then like, I got like 10 email or messages today. Eddie, can we use your footage? And I'm like, no. And they're like, but we want to make sure we get everything right. I'm like, so I don't give a shit. You're not using my fucking footage. And they wouldn't right. stop. They even sent me a release form after I told them no. And I'm like, you're not using my fucking footage. <sighs> Guys, they made it seem like some fraud is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah they always make it. Like, th this this is the thing, right? Because, you know, if, if you grew up in California, then you've been dealing with every single argument that the entire country is dealing with right now for about, I don't know, 30 plus years, right? Yeah. Like, excuse me, uh, black people are horrendously oppressed at all times with all things. Like, uh, why is he getting better grades than me when he doesn't show up to class? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, do you remember, like, I don't know, it was probably 10 years ago, some fireman, he, he went for out for a job, and because he was white, he didn't get the job, and they gave it to the black guy. So he sued them oh, yeah. for racially profiling him and not giving him the job, and then he got, like, a million bucks because he didn't get the goddamn job because he was racially profiled because he's a white guy. Yeah, but they left the black guy in the job. Yeah. Who failed the tests. All of them. Yeah, you remember failed. that. Not not like he didn't do as well. He outright fucking failed. And I was like, bro, bro, I don't want you to give the white guy the money. I want the guy who passed the test to pull me out of my burning house. <laughs> exactly, you know? You know, when it comes to shit like that, yeah, you want the best man for the job, you know? I mean, if it's some guy pushing in numbers on a burger, you know, hey, what kind of burger you want? Go ahead, you know. Get the wrong guy the job. I don't know. Uh, you know, you know what though? I like. I honestly, I would like the burger that I ordered, and uh, this, that never this sounds like a stupid thing, but, <laughs> but it's a real problem. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know. I would like a Big Mac. Like, all right, so a Big Mac has bacon. I mean, like, I'm not opposed to bacon, but where the fuck did bacon show up in a Big Mac? <laughs> yeah. Well, McDonald's bacon sucks anyway, so you don't want that anyways. Well, you're not wrong. Oh, McDonald's wait, sucks in general, but everybody know what McDonald's is. Oh, the big guy just showed us everybody wants to see Donald J. Trump, my service dog. Have you seen Donald J. Yeah. Trump, my service dog? Hold on, let me show you. My new St. Bernard puppy. <laughs> huh, what's up, Donnie? Everybody likes Donnie. What's up, buddy? You come in the room? Freaking, uh, even the cops yesterday, they were like, what's your dog's name? I'm like, his name is Donald J. Trump. They're like, oh, I thought I liked your dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I, I get the benefit of my name actually being Don. Uh, so, you know, people show up in my chat and they're like, yeah, hell yeah, the Donald. I'm like, so me, right? Yeah. That's what you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? They took some of my Donald Trump shirts, too, the FBI. I don't know why they would take my Donald Trump shirts. And they took my boss big boy hat. 
it's the Phoebes, man. They take everything. Yeah. Uh, that, that's just that's just how it goes. I wish that was bullshit, but it's not. See, and, and like my friend, who's this uh, a paralegal who's helping me out, he's he's trying to tell me he's like Eddie. They can't take that. You're a journalist. That's your working material. They shouldn't be able to take it. And oh well, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, that's true. As long as you don't sue them, they will take whatever they want. Yeah. So he actually told me to contact the ACLU. So I'm thinking about doing it on Monday. Don't don't bother. The ACLU hates you. Um, uh, unironically, this is why I'm working on getting together a group of lawyers who are just going to go after the FBI repeatedly. Uh-huh. Because the, a- the ACLU will protect the left, but uh, the moment they find out that you're not over there being like, have you considered that Black Lives Matter and it's, uh, the whiteness is the only problem that current American philosophy has ever had to deal with? Do you understand that everyone who's not to the left of Joe Biden is a Nazi? Uh, th- that's that's it. They see you don't give a fuck about you. They've proved it a few times now. Yeah. Uh- um uh, and Bev, we're talking to Flea, to Flea. I'm trying to get an army of lawyers together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely need one. We're talking to Plea Media right now. Uh, people are asking in the chat. So. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I'm done the pleb of plebeian media. Oh, pleb. Sorry. Uh, oh, don't don't worry about it, man. Pronounce how you pronounce. I don't, I don't give a shit. I, I I've had some of the biggest and smallest people in the world call me pleb, plebe, whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you know what's really matter. funny is people come in my chat and they start they they start typing, "Hey Eddie, E D D Y," and I'm like, "Look two inches above, and you'll see how to spell my name." <laughs> right. <laughs> no I'm offense to my sure subscribers, but you know. E D D I E. I'm just saying it's in the channel name. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just funny when they do that. So, right on, I, man. No, I, I, I don't know, man. Call me what you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. I don't give a fuck. I'm easy going. I don't care. Hey, you know? there you go. Um, right right up until it hits things that matter, right? Like, if, if you come to me and you're like, Don, man, you said you were easy going. So, like, should we have communism? My answer is, fuck you, die. You know? <laughs> yeah. Heck no. My mom didn't come to this to this country from Holland, you know, to, to be a communist. Mm. You know? Fuck no. In fact, so my mom met my dad, because my dad was in the Air Force, and my mom was in the Dutch Air Force. She was training to become a helicopter pilot, or uh, something like that. And she actually left the service in Holland and came here with my dad. Yeah, so. fuck yeah. So, yeah. Welcome to America. Uh, you guys need to save some convo for tomorrow. I promise you there will be conversation for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Like, all, all, all the things we're talking about, we're not talking about the stuff that I'm going to go after tomorrow. Heck, yeah. So, and by tomorrow, uh, I'll have that like, little I, old iMac up, <laughs> however it works. What yeah, of? like, I, I mean, honestly, to, uh, I, I spent all day today talking with literally no one. Right. The person I was raising money for is not a YouTuber. They're just a subscriber of mine who got fucked with. Like that there was no conversation to be had. I just ran my mouth for three hours. I promise you I can talk plenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same here. Shoot, I, I did six hours in DC. Just nonstop rambling. <laughs> but I went around to all the memorials, showed everybody, you know, hey, this is the Lincoln Memorial and this, you know. What's up, Panda? Yeah. No, I, I went to D.C. on the 20th, and it was it was rough, right? Because I, I couldn't get within, like, I could barely get within line of sight of the Lincoln Memorial at all. Yeah. Like, period. Yeah. That sucks. We, um, I got all the way up there, in fact. Um, but then what's funny is when we were trying to find the White House, you know, I wanted to get to the front, and they're like, this is as close as you can get. And then I look down, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm in Black Lives Matter Plaza. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man, that's not the place to be. <laughs> no, especially, you know, because I was still a Proud Boy back then, so I got my Proud Boy gear on. <laughs> oh, so, so I, I uh, like, you You can see my my fucking screen here, but nobody else can, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, there, there's a picture of me. I've got, uh, oh, you're going to point me at a phone, aren't you? There you there go. You are. Um, so... You know, there, there's a picture of me. I got an upside down flag. My shit's all fucked up because, like, you know, I'm not 
not actually streaming anything. But generally speaking, I carry an upside down flag because the country's in distress and it's time for fucking patriots to get together and fix that shit. Right, and that's what an upside down flag means. I don't give a fuck about the left, and they're like, "Oh, the flag's upside down because I hate America." No, fuck you. Straight up flag code. Uh, you know, if you are in distress, if you're an American institution, American installation, you, you are in distress. Raise the flag upside down to tell other Americans to come by and fucking help you. And uh, make no mistake, that's why my flag is upside down. Right on. Um, but but regardless, I, I am always 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 carrying a flag of some variety uh man on the phone screen what's his channel i'm a subscribe my name is don the pleb of plebeian media pleb media youtube.com slash pleb media or plebe media don't really care uh call it what you want just come down subscribe do all the things because Make no mistake, half of what I spend my time with these days is that we here on the right of Mao had better get to fucking gather and start working together, right? Yeah. Like, I, I'm perfectly happy to argue with you about everything from sun up to sundown, but for fuck's sake, these people are coming for us. And, like, our 10, 20% of difference, that shit don't matter. Because yeah. they're going to gulag our ass regardless. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, the, the minute jo- Joe Biden wasn't even in office yet, and they shut down Trump's, uh, they shut down Trump on everything. They shut down all of our parlor. Uh, anybody who yep. was in D.C. got kicked off of Facebook just because they knew Joe Biden was going to be in there. And welcome to communist Joe Biden's uh, America. Yep. And it sucks. We got to we got to figure out a way to fix it, you know. And it's not through voting anymore. Sounds like. Damn it, Pleb, I wrote down penis media. Good thing I double-checked. Well, uh, <laughs> Don't get me started on that. Jarhead as I am, it may or may not be penis media. I might just be fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Oh, man. What's up, Paul? The Antifa action in Portland is... Are they going crazy in Portland? When, when aren't they going crazy in Portland? You know what I mean? Like, is, does Portland still exist? Yes, they're going crazy in Portland. <laughs> it's pretty much that simple. Yeah. Dude, that is some radio voice. That's that's what I hear. I hear I should have been in radio. I got the face for radio, so. Mm. Man, you can see my face. I got the face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was on radio for a little bit. Not much. Like a week. Yeah? Yeah, they did a Joe that's... Dirt story on me on Wild 94.9 in San Francisco. And uh, they're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do all this to help you out." And then two days later, they got kicked off off the new off the radio station for messing with uh, Gavin Newsom. <laughs> how how dare you? How dare you come after the goddamn Lord and Savior of California, Gavin the Fag Newsom of San Francisco? Goddamn Cisco. Yeah. Be advised, this is Cock and Balls FM, and if you don't like that <laughs> shit, this is shit on the street slash piss on your face dot fm dot com. Come down, subscribe. You too can get some piss on your face. Face, 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 face. That's right. This is the radio <laughs> station of San Francisco. Gay pride, shit and piss. That's it. Come on down and get some. Fuck, I hate California. <laughs> Dude, we we so when I was married, my wife took she wanted to go to to the, the the Castro. So we're driving through the Castro, and she's like, "Look, is that what I think it is?" And I look over, and there's two naked guys, and all they had was a sock on their penis walking around the Castro. I mean, oh, that's sorry. the kind of shit they let go on down there, you know? What what if you're taking your kids or something around there? There, there, there was this picture that was going around the internet for a bit, and it was this this uh, this dude who is buck naked, except he's wearing uh, like a, a, a fucking um, what are those things called? Uh, the shitty hat with a brim all the way around, right? Uh-huh. Uh You know, the, the the only thing I know it as is a boonie cover, right? Because it's it's a it's a soft hat, but it's it is in the ge- same general frame of a fucking. Uh, cowboy hat, but yeah. smaller and made of canvas, right? And 
that's the only thing he's wearing, and he's got a dildo in his ass. And he's standing in front of, like, this eight-year-old kid who was like, oh, my God, what is this? And I went, yeah, so this is definitely not the problem of our society. Are you, are you fucking, like, yeah. look, I don't care if you want to walk down the street in a polo and, uh, you know, khakis and go, look, I'm proud to be gay. I really don't care. Like, you're irritating, you're going to interrupt traffic, fine, whatever. Yeah. If you're walking around with nothing but a boonie hand and a dildo in your ass, like, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Stop. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, the stuff you got to you gotta talk to your kids about afterwards, you know? Oh, my God. Like, there, there's a reason that during various times of the year, I was like, kids, we're not going anywhere near the center of the city because, no. Uh, also, the simple fact of the matter is I don't have enough ammo for this. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what are they saying? Somebody said something. Let's see. Who took my hat and shirt? The FBI did. Mm. Yeah. If that is who took your hat and shirt. Be advised, uh, the the FBI will not only take your hat and shirt, but they will take your anal virginity. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Right on. All right, brother. So, uh, what time do you wanna do you wanna do this tomorrow? I don't know, man. Hit me up when you get up. Uh, you know, I'll be two hours ahead of you, so it's all good. All right. Uh, I stay up like late. I stay at late. Man, I, I've been drinking for hours, so if you hit me up at like six in the morning my time, I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> well, I stay up late because I got to go strip now. I got to go make some money to buy some new computer stuff. So, <laughs> hey, I go get face. paid. To, they pay me to put my clothes it. back on. <laughs> <laughs> right on, uh, man. By the way, did you actually get a hold of my phone number? Uh, I will. I will. I'll get to it. Oh, wait. Right, you know what? You uh, can send it through Skype. Can't you send a Skype message? I, it's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, do I know how to do that? No. <laughs> no? I can do it on my computer on here. I don't. There's, there should be a little chat button or something. Let's see. Uh, there, there we go. You see it? Yep. Right on. All right, you got me? I sure do. Let me take a screenshot of it. Oh, I went away. But I got it. It's, it's, uh, I saw it. We should be good. All right, man. So uh, I'm going to sell that for 50 bucks. Full of, I, I promise you I will be more full of more sobriety in the morning and actually at least vaguely serious uh, because, uh, I mean, go go look at the, the stream from today. Uh, I, I try and hold it down for at least an hour. But uh, about an hour in, I start getting pissed and start talking about, look, it's time to sue the FBI out of existence. Uh, because <laughs> it is. Right on. Sounds good. These, these motherfuckers are a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, brother. I'll probably call you around noon your time. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good. All right, buddy. All right. Talk to you later, man. Thank you for the help. I appreciate it. Well, hey, brother. Uh, again, we got to look out for each other. It's yeah. just a simple reality. Uh, thanks everybody for listening what you should do is like subscribe and share to Eddie Block what you should be doing is indeed following him on all social media which you can likely find in the description equally speaking if you're not following on uh, Patreon and or subscribe star you should be absolutely any donation is what we're all looking for it <laughs> makes all of our lives just a little bit better and provides us the capability to provide you better content 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 over the long term thank you all for watching ladies and gentlemen like subscribe and share that is the best thing you can do get some ladies and gentlemen <laughs> right on i love it brother all right man i'll talk to you tomorrow man you too, man. Let's see, how do I turn this off now? Oh, there we go. All right, guys. All right, sorry. So how was that, man? I've never met that guy before. He sounded pretty cool. He sounded like he's going to help me out. So that's pretty good, pretty good. So I didn't get a chance to see any news tonight because uh, I was driving all day. And uh, uh, what um, what's going on in the world? What am I missing? What stupid stuff is the Joe Biden... Uh, or Harris, whatever. Uh, the other guy's channel is called Plebe. P 
P-L-E-B. And uh, Pleb. Yeah, he talked a lot, but you know what? That's that's what he does, you know? Uh, we all talk a lot. <clears throat> Heck, how What's going on, Rob? Hey, I was, I was calling in really quick, right? Yeah. Um, what's going on is um, Gibson wants to talk to you. He's been trying to send it in there a lot for you to... All right. He, he, so he wanted to get a hold of you, and um, he, wa he wanted to talk tonight. And, um, okay. I'm just doing it. It's easier to, to call you than for you to read a chat, I think. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I can't see half of the message that's in here, Rob, so it's hard exactly. to keep up. I understand, and I know Getsum does, too, so anyway. Um, okay, did you give him my num? It. Did you give him my number, or is he going to call in through Skype? I don't have his number, and um, you do. Oh, I do? Oh, he emailed it to me, and, huh? And hold on, hold on. Let me ask him some something, right? Yeah. Hey, get some. Can you call him in on Facebook? I don't have Facebook. I'm kicked off, remember? Not, not on Facebook, but can you... Hi, Catherine. On Skype. Um, can you call him in on... Um, Skype. Skype. He's got his Skype set up. And I guess some day just said indeed. And that, that means he can. Okay, yeah, tell him to call me right now on Skype because it's all set up on this phone, other phone. Some, it, it gets some. Can you um, call him in? Can you call in on his Skype right now? It's live, whatever the two dots are after it, and Eddie 0408. Perfect. He, he said yes. Good, so I'm, I'm out. All right. All right, bye-bye. 10-4. All right. Do I have my do not... Disturb on. Let me make sure my do not. Proud Eddie's girl. <laughs> All right, get some. I'm waiting for you to call on Skype, buddy. Let me go to Skype. Let's see. Oh, Chad called too. Oh, but that was way earlier. Uh, just waiting for you to call here, big guy. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Saturday's working good for you guys. FBI, hit that like button. I know, FBI, if you're going to watch, at least hit the, hit the like button. Um, I'm pointing 24-7. Text or email me. Yeah, you can... You know what? I have got to get, let me get my, um, let me get my, uh, telegram back up. I, I don't have anything on my phone right now because I'm, I'm on a temporary phone, guys. What's my PayPal account? It is, oh, you know what, um, hold on. I've got a, let me go to another one of my videos here. I can download my information because it's all on there. That's what I can do. That's, why didn't I think of that before? Home. Go to one of my videos. Your channel. A lot of work. But we're going to get there. Um, it's probably going to be... Probably in here. Um, let me go to the description. Yes, I got everything right here. And it won't let me copy and paste, will it? Uh, but you want to know what my Skype is? Or I mean, my so PayPal is paypal.me. I don't know whatever the slash is that the, the top is to towards the back, and it's Eddie Block Films. So paypal.me slash backslash whatever Eddie Block Films. Well, I can put it on the screen right here, can't I? I don't know if you guys can read that. Can you? Tell me if you can read that, because I can't see what I'm showing you guys. No? Shoot. Why won't it let me... You know, I guess it's because I got an older iPhone now. Skype is down on your phone. How about now? 
shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Um, shit. Hold on. Oh, I downloaded Telegram, so let me, um, enter my number. Maybe, do you have Telegram? Get some? Please check your telemessages. On my other device. Why Why do they always want you to go to another other device? Oh, there we go. Send it as a SMS message. There we go. I got it. Yay, I'm back in Telegram. I'm back in Telegram. All right, are you guys part of my Eddie Block Films and Friends chat? Because you can go in there and send me messages. So now I'm back on Telegram. Get some. Do you have Telegram? You can call through Telegram. Yeah, I've already changed all my passwords for the most part. Let's see. James James McConnell is shit. Oh, that's you. Get some. James McConnell is that's it. There we go. You just sent your phone number out to everybody in the world, brother. 817, that's uh, Richland Hills area, isn't it? Nobody really cares. Nobody cares? What's going on? 817, is that Richland Hills, uh, uh, Fort Worth area? Can you hear me? I hear you good. What is up, brother? Man? What's going on, man? I used to have an 817 number. <laughs> there you go. How's it going, man? Hi, uh, man. Fantastic. Been dying to talk to you. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear what happened, but you know that's California for you, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's California. I think it's the whole wor the whole United States now. Actually, now uh, a quick story. I've, I've got into it with the Secret Service on multiple occasions. Uh huh. And my Denton County Sheriff hates their guts. I've had them thrown in jail twice, and one of them slammed up against a car. I do not fear the feds. Wow. Wow, so uh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, that's right. You know, we talked the other day about this where you were. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, in Texas, the sheriff has supreme authority of the county. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, and they can't even really enter my property without two warrants. Wow. Yeah. They only had when one to get in mine. When are you moving out of here? When are you going to leave that West Coast crap? Well, I got to wait till my, my stepdad's still here, and uh, I kind of take care of him, you know? So I got to I, I gotta uh, wait till he's... I don't know what's the best word to say for it, you know, once he uh, moves on to heaven, I guess. How about that? Well, I, I just moved both of mine on uh, less than a year ago. They lived in the adjacent property on a house, so I feel your pain. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't want to move. You know, I've I tried to talk him into, you know, let's go buy a house over here. And nope, he likes, he likes where he's at, so, so I'm stuck. Oh, absolutely. Hey, 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 also, if we can set up some kind of communication... I don't have no problem sending my email. I can send you a laptop. I can send you a GoPro 8. I can send you all kinds of stuff, dude. I'm not exactly broke. Right on. I appreciate that. Yeah, Um. what's funny is, so, uh, what, uh, somebody else said that, like, like you're doing right now, right? And so, when I got back from D.C., he actually had sent the GoPro 9 to my house. <coughs> well, the, the FBI took, took that, and he's texting me today, and he's like, why'd they take that one? You didn't even have it in D.C. And I was like, they took everything. Oh my God. <laughs> and I mean, you're not known as armed and dangerous. I don't know why they would enter with guns drawn. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. And, and it, it, like, even because I know the local police department, you know, and they knew, like, there's a, a guy there, and he's like, Eddie, he's all, he's all, are you good? I'm like, yeah. He's all, do you need me to hang around to make sure you're okay? And I'm like, no. He's like, good, because I know you're not a bad guy, so I'm going to let you go. So he left and left me with the FBI, you know? Well, I, I'm going to give you an overview of my property out here. I live on a eight-acre strip. Uh -huh. Eight-acre strip next to me is retired Secret Service. You wouldn't believe what their pension is. The one to the north of me is retired Fort Worth uh, police chief. The one next to him is retired DEA, and he has a Class Three license, and he's got a shooting range in there. And oh, wow. Believe me, I, I, I'm, they call this cop land out here because everybody but me is retired, right? I'm uh -huh. a, a big transportation company. I'm not going to say the name, but it's the biggest in the world. 
But, I mean, this is a good old boy network out here, and nobody gets in or out of this property without... Well, we're unincorporated. We have no rules. Nice. So, if we're ever going to have a get-together, strongly consider bringing it out here, because like I said, we control it. Heck yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to do that, brother. We've been talking about it for a while, so... Uh, yeah, wait till the summertime and before it gets too hot. I mean, uh, it, it gets as hot as, like, hell here. Yeah. Oh, I know. I worked over there in the summer. But, you know, I travel to SoCal all the time, Orange County a lot. I got two big customers out there. Oh, nice. Next time you come down there, I'm always down there. I'll take you and I can introduce you. Have you ever, do you know who Maga Hulk is? I, I do. I, I usually drive between Ontario and Irvine and everything in between. Hell, I've, I've got an account in Compton, believe it or not. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you and introduce you to Mega Hulk. Hello? I'm here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, but next time I'm coming, I think we're planning a trip at, uh, for a QBR in early May. I may look you up online and come take you out to dinner and buy you a steak dinner or something like that. Hell yeah, I never turn down a steak dinner as long as it's medium rare. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's the only way I do it. Wait, wait till I cook you one. Even better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you, me, Rob, and Drunk Uncle, we got to get together. We absolutely got to get together sometime. Y'all are some of the greatest guys in the world. Hell, yeah. Yeah, I love Rob, and I love Drunk Uncle, you know. And you, you can't forget our, my lovely gray-eyed Jewel, oh, you know. No, I don't see her on tonight. And, yeah. And I, you're right. Uh, she is priceless. And feel free to give my phone number to Tara, to Sarah, to anybody on the list. All right. <laughs> the girls. Yeah, only the girls, right? Only the girls. Yeah, exactly. Only the girls. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and everybody out there, I appreciate y'all's support for Eddie. Eddie's a great guy. I've been following you for a long time. Uh, you and just about all your friends out there, too. Uh, I'm old school. I'm 59 years old. Uh, you know, and, and I, I see the world just like Rob does. Uh, Rob, I call him Lee Hermie Jr. because he reminds me of Lee Hermie, but he's yeah. the guy. So, oh yeah, yeah. So, so you watched the? Did you start watching me when I was with Ben Burkwam? Yeah, absolutely. I've been following you a long time. Right on. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff for Ben. Yeah. We see things the same way. I'm a huge Milo Yiannopoulos fan. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not like people think. I get labeled a redneck, but hell, I love everybody. Just don't fuck with me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, uh, you know, when I was in D.C. and I, I was uh, interviewing him, um, I forget his name now. He's, he's uh, I think it's Marco. He's the, the, the patriotic gay guy, you know. Cool as hell, you know. And people are like, why are you interviewing a gay guy? I'm like, because he's a patriot too. Who cares? That's, if, that's you know? the, the black guy, right? Uh, no, he's, uh, I think he's Puerto Rican or maybe. Um, that's what he is. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, we, we get so unfairly labeled. I mean, I know that off at my logo and all that shit. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, I exist because others allow it, and it's the same way the other way. Others are just not allowed. We got to get along. Yeah. You know, I, shoot, my wife was dem a liberal for all, for Christ's sake. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, and just for the ladies listening, let me. I'm gonna describe myself real quick. If you remember the movie Jake and the Fat Man, <laughs> I'm not Jake. <laughs> you're you're bringing it way back. I remember Jake and the Fat Man a long time ago. Man, I've been uh, I was I went through the '60s, and some of my best friends grew up in real Martin Luther King times and real racial times. And these people today just have no clue. They just don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shoot. Um. Speaking at um. Uh, Denton. So, so I, uh, I'm kind. Of, I worked kind of close to you for a while there. I worked in Las Colinas over there in Dallas. Oh yeah, I know it well. Yeah, uh, there's a Marriott there that I that I did all the plumbing work in when I was a plumber. Yeah, I actually lived in Irving, which is Las Colinas, before I built out here. Yeah, I used to go hang out at the Irving Mall after work, and there was a Hooters right across the street from the Irving Mall. I don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> I figured you would. Yeah, I figured. Exactly figured you would i loved irving because i mean you could go to that mall and this was in 2001 i'm thinking and i mean whatever flavor you loved there was a beautiful girl in that flavor there uh, it's funny because 2001 is exactly when i left irving oh really yeah 
moved out here and never looked back, raised my kids out here. I got three boys, and they're just, you know, one of them is uh, uh, a heart patient, you know, so I'm going to take care of them all lot. They're three strong Republicans, man. Yeah, right on. Yeah, we, um, let's see, I remember I went to, what, the Six Flags over Texas or something like that? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah, we went there. Then, uh... It's changed now. Now it's Six Flags over Texas. <laughs> And then the biggest mistake I made was, uh, you know, back then, internet was just coming out. And, you know, as a plumber, we travel around and and we were traveling so much that we figured, hey, we can meet people on the internet. And I met these two girls and they told us uh, we should come down to a Pecos, Texas. I'm sure you know where Pecos is, right? By Midland? Yeah, Judge Roy Bean. So, uh... We got halfway there, and I let my buddy drive, and so, I forget what happened, but he knocked the oil out of my, he, he he hit a dip too hard, knocked the oil out of my little Honda, and we got stuck in Pecos, Texas for the weekend with these girls that we did not want to be stuck with. But they had a drive through liquor store. That was kind of cool. We got a lot of those here. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, you know, Texas has some unique laws but they're really about independence, right? Yeah. And I'm not condoning drinking and driving. Believe it or not, I can sit here and look you in the face and tell you, I might drink a six-pack of beer a year. I don't drink. Um, I have, but I grew up, damn, worked at the Star Club for many years, and anybody that's been around a long time knows that from the Star Club. But, yeah. But, uh, no, nah, I mean, uh, I'm just a laid-back individual living out the rest of my life, getting ready to retire, and build my little, what do you want to call it, uh, fortress. Hey, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So when you were out there in, in Irving, did you go over to go out to Harry Hines Boulevard? Uh, I actually grew up, I was born in Oak Cliff. I grew up in the projects. This is a, a no bullshit story. Uh, my mom, dad left in 68. My mom worked three jobs. She worked at clubs over on Harry Hines just to raise me. So this bullshit about I grew up with a bad, you know, rap in life and couldn't make it is crap. I make well over six figures all my life. Never went to college. Uh, it's, it's a cop out. You know, I don't play yeah. victim mentality shit. Amen to you. You know, uh, so I was a plumber, right? And uh, after a while, my uh, uh, my my back gave out to where I couldn't work anymore. I mean, I have spinal bifida and scoliosis, so I, I shouldn't have been working at all. Um, they put me on disability, and when I walked in the room, they're like, how come you haven't been on disability your whole life? I said, because I'm not a little lazy son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and they got mad at me for saying that. Yeah, but you know what? I've watched, I've watched you get around. I remember when there was, uh, I want to say it was on the 105 or whatever, and you're toting that wheelchair over there and all that stuff. Nothing stops you. And you're a, you're a role model, man. You're like Bethany Hamilton out in Hawaii. You know? You're know, you not going to let my stop you. And that's the way people need to be, man. Yeah. Just admire you. And I'm not trying to embarrass you. Just You, you're, you set the benchmark pretty high for people, and they need to pay attention. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I used to get mad. I remember one time I was at some plumbing convention. Oh, thank you, On Point. And uh, this guy walks up to me and he's like, man, you're a plumber? And I said, yeah. He's like, oh, man, congratulations. You know, that's awesome. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because you're, you're, you're handicapped. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, I used to be pissed about it. I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do about it? <laughs> you know, I was a hard-headed kid back in the day, you know? We all were. We grew up hard knocks. Heck, uh, my boss, he told me uh, all he had to do to get me to do something is tell me I couldn't do it, and I'd do it just to, you know, show him I couldn't do it. Or I could do it, so. That's, that's the way people got to be. Yeah. Uh, Tara, I'm actually five foot ten and 203 pounds. I'm not really fat. That's not fat at all. I'm five foot three and 210 pounds, so. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm not. I mean, I do running, but it's an online game. I figure if I run across the World of Warcraft, that's my exercise. <laughs> there you go. I've never yeah. played World of Warcraft, to be honest with you. Never oh, have. I did for years. I did for years. I, I was never a big video game guy. I play Candy Crush. That's about the worst I do. And I mean, I was a startup. I used to spend a lot of money to get all my IT certifications. And then, uh, you know, after the service, I, I went to work in the freight companies and never used my IT certifications. It oh, wow. Pretty good at work, though. Everybody keeps saying that they're, my PayPal's not working. Let me see. Are you guys doing the right one? Is PayPal me? Wait, hold on. Let me see. I got to look at it up again. It is PayPal.me slash Eddie Block Films. 
I'll try and see if I can show it to them again. Eh, they can't really see it. I can't get it to work. Let me type it in. So, uh, keep talking, drunk, uh, I mean, drunk yeah, uncle. They can't, they can't really see that. It's pretty blurry when you show up the screen like that. Yeah, see, what happened is, um, I heard that I can take, uh, I can take this phone back now that my friend gave me one. Uh -huh. So, what I'm trying to do is keep it in the packaging so I can keep it. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was talking to my neighbors about that, uh, the FBI agent going to get you a phone. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But everybody's worried that it's, you know, bugged or something. But I don't think it is because it was in the package when he gave it to me. I mean. It, it doesn't matter. You don't do anything wrong. You yeah. You don't do anything wrong. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting in front of us talking to us. They just want to get the stuff off your system and, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, and there's nothing on my system for them to get, so, you know. Yeah. All they're gonna, you, I mean, you guys saw what I filmed. That was me at all the memorials and then me in front of the Capitol not being able to get in. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's, I've got my own opinions on it, but, you know, they, uh, I guarantee you they're not happy with what they're having to do. Let me just put it that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, keep a low profile, brother, until it, it blows over and then, you know, they'll come after somebody else. I'm praying every night they come after me. I'm just praying. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, you know, I, I'm not going to keep a low profile because that's what they want. I'm going to stay right here telling you guys the news that we need to know, so. Yeah. You know? So that's why we're here, and I mean, pretty good job on the membership. I yeah. was over on uh, Jeff's site, and there were a lot of people asking, have you seen Eddie today? Have you seen Eddie today? So, you know, you're across the net. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's really good, you know? Irma needs to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your mom. I can't. Not right now. Right on. But, yeah, so uh, um, what else is going on over there in Texas right now? That's it. I mean, we're in the best place to be in the United States, right? I mean, uh, you don't get Antifa here except in Austin, and sometimes we got to go have a talk with them down at UNT and then. But other than that, they keep a very low profile here because they're pretty hated. Yeah. Well, a lot of Californians are moving over there. Are they bring in the the problems from here to there. Or? Uh, you know what? At first, we hated them. Okay, <laughs> but once I got to know them. They're running from the same things that y'all are complaining about there. I mean, they're really Texans at heart because uh -huh. they just want their own freedom to be left alone. Yeah. And they're tired of getting jacked by the Newsoms and the Pelosi's and, you know, the Browns. And how far you want to go back? Even the Schwartz knucklehead has, has become a moron. Yeah. Well, well, what's funny is, like, um, you know, everybody makes fun of California and, and, and the shit we got over here. But then they vote Joe Biden in, who's basically... What California stands for. Thank you, Rob Vet, Rev Vet. Rob just shared the stuff for me. Thank you. Uh, well, you've been to Texas. You, you see how real friendly the people are. And I've been all over the United States, brother. I mean, everywhere from Jersey to South Dakota. Yeah. And uh, Texas, and I hate to say this, a lot of people might disagree with me, but some of the nicest people, too, are in Ohio and South Dakota. They're yeah. great people. They're very friendly. The friendliest people I ever met, though, was in Anchorage, Alaska. Never been to Alaska. Yeah, I, we built a Marriott up there, and uh, I was at this store. It's called Cars. It's a grocery store. And uh, the late, there's two ladies in front of me, and one turns around and says, Hey, are you going to 7th Street? And the lady says, No, why? Do you need a ride? And the other lady says, Yeah, I do. Please, thank you. So I figure they know each other, right? Then they're like, My name's Mary. What's yours? And I said, California, that would have never happened. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every time I've been out there, people just don't talk to each other. They don't interact with each other. The traffic is brutal. I mean, four hours from Santa Monica to Ontario one time was brutal. Yeah. And we're sitting in traffic, <laughs> and I'm stopped. I'm literally stopped sitting in there. The car's in park, and I pick up my cell phone. Big motorcycle cop pulls up next to me, and this guy is like 9 foot 12. I mean, he's huge. And the first thing that crosses my mind is Rodney King. I'm fixing to get my ass beat. You know? <laughs> yeah. And writes me a ticket, sitting and driving. I'm like, what about you idiots out here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's a revenue machine out there is all it is. I mean, you know, uh, uh, Texas and California fight over the biggest economies, but we got oil. Yeah, and you guys have no uh, state taxes. I loved when I worked there. I didn't have to pay any state taxes. Well, and that's that's important because these people are selling their 2,000 square foot homes for, you know, 700,000. And they're coming over here and getting 6,000 square foot homes for 300,000 yeah. with land. You know, yeah, they're, they're coming over here pretty rich. 
but I just can't imagine how much they had to make to build that house. Yeah. My uncle, he, um, he, so, you know, Las Colinas. So he, when I was there, he had just moved there from LA. He worked for, um, Verizon. It was right there in Las Colinas, the Verizon plant, I think it was, or GTE. And then it was Verizon. <laughs> and, uh, so he left a little tiny condo in LA and moved there to, to, um, uh, not Las Colinas, uh, Richland Hills, right? Which is one of the better neighborhoods from what I understand. And uh, bought a four-bedroom house with the indoor swimming pool, and had enough money left over to buy two via two Lincoln Town cars matching for him and his wife. Oh yeah, that's so, the story. That's funny you say that because that's about the time I had the supervisor. Yeah. Yeah, that's when uh, they bought out GT and E. DSL just came out. I lived in Irving on Grawler Boulevard, uh -huh. and the D mark was literally 26 feet from my house. So I had zero latency. I was playing online like Fight Race and all that. And yeah. Just moved in. And then they moved the D mark and didn't tell me, so I had to take them to court. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I miss Texas. I had fun, you know, cruising down MacArthur Avenue right there. and. Mm -hmm. It's changed now. Las Colinas was always an uppity place. It was really protected, kind of like Highland Park and, yeah. and everything else. Irving was, I lived in an old Fox and Jacobs house there, uh, very small, but, you know, uh, saved up my money, worked hard, and bought me some land and moved out here in a pretty big house. That's the American dream, right? Uh, it is, and, and nobody's taking it away from me. I mean, um, I think uh, just in my area here, we got more guns than Columbia. You know, just, <laughs> yeah. That's who we are. You know, we're not out to hurt anybody. We're hunters. You know, that's what we do. Yeah. In fact, I was looking at uh, looking at where to live in Texas, and I gotta admit, I'm I'm like a a big Jesse James fan. You know, so don't go to Austin. Yeah. Well, that's where he is, and I was like, man, that's a liberal haven. I'll tell you another quick story. Every year we go to Rot Rally down there, the motorcycle rally. Mm -hmm. We went out the whole top floor of the Omni, and every year, a friend of mine by the name of Scott, I won't say his last name, and a guy named Ted, I will say his last name is Nugent. Uh, oh, nice. Come out there every year. I mean, uh, good, good friends of mine. They take us out on big game hunts down in Victoria and all that. Yeah. And I'm inviting those two guys to our get-together. I mean, when you sit down with Ted Nugent, Gonzo, he'll enlighten you, man. Oh, you know, uh, Ben got to meet him when they went to the NRA thing in Indianapolis last year. Great guy, man. Yeah. Down to earth. And he, he's, he's always on this one show. Uh, I used to watch a show called Truckin' with Stacy. Yep. He was always on there with Stacy, yeah. Stacy David, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the truck show, rebuild, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, he's always built, you know, he's always building the cool shit, you know. Yeah. So, right on. Hey, you want to meet out there? I want to meet Ben Shapiro. You ever got to meet him? Uh, I filmed, I was 100 feet from him filming him, but I never got to meet him himself, no. And that guy's got an IQ of 500. Yeah, that guy's lightning Jeez. quick. Yeah. Yeah, he was at Politicon. I ain't going to take up a lot of your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get in touch with Rob. I'm going to figure out a way with Rob to get to send you some stuff. I'm going to send you a laptop anyway. Okay. Well, and, thank uh, you. We'll get this shit worked out, man. All right. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. All right, All right brother. appreciate your show. Keep it up. Keep up the fight. Eddie. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Have a good night. Bye, sir. All right. Goodbye. All right, guys, that was uh, Get Some. You guys remember Get Some from the chat? Sorry about it. Uh, I've been talking long with everybody, but I'm long-winded the last couple of days. Uh, I don't have my normal computer to, to, to show me news and stuff so I can share the news with you guys. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing. All those Dan's moving to Arizona. Are you in Dar Arizona, Dar? And I keep seeing people saying uh, I'm blocked. Mm -hmm. So is my PayPal not working? That's weird. You cannot stand Ben Burkwam? That's who I got started filming with. Ben, uh, Ben's a good friend of mine. Um, but, you know, not everybody likes everybody, so... But, no, Ben's a pretty cool dude. What's up, Rob Redbet? All right. I, 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 I called back, all right? Yes, sir. Um, everybody in here cares about you a lot, and, um, we were sitting here, and I was reading the chat and stuff, and I'm kind of half awake and half asleep, and I had heard on other channels, right? Yeah. 
Um, anyway, longer, um, longer story short, that there were um, Canadian troops down in um, Mexico and at oh, thank you, and too. over in um, Canada. Well, Jim Bob, that silly guy, is from Canada, and he just said there weren't anybody there, and there weren't. They weren't training there or anything like that. And I hadn't heard anything from the Mexican side at all. And I asked other people that I know about that. So yeah, I don't want rumors to get, cr- everybody to get carried away on the rumor control. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why, you know, we got, guys, we got to vet every single story that we get in here. If, if you see it on one news channel, go to a second and a third and a fourth and double check your stuff before, you know. Um, Catherine Wayne lives in, um... He lives in Manitoba. And thanks for calling in again. Get some. That was it. Was nice finally talking to you, man. Yeah, he gets some's awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he's got drunk my sense of humor. Like, Not this bastard again. Ha <laughs> Yeah, drunk but, uncle. Yeah, I love that guy. I love get some. They're all good people. But I wanted to clarify some crap so that. Oh, Love Love's still in here. Wrapped. I didn't hear you. You got to say hi to Love Love. She's still in here. Hi, love, love. I didn't even know you were in there, but hi, love, love. <laughs> anyway, long, longer story short, we gotta watch. Um, we gotta watch what we believe, and I think that a lot of shit's gone on, and we're getting to be really, really paranoid. Yeah. You you know what I mean? And to reel it in a little at this point would probably be a good idea. Um. We all know Biden's junk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And right now, we have to get our country united again. And we're not going to get too damn united if we're paranoid about everything. Yep. And it it brought me to something that I want to say to the vets, and and especially to the Marines, that they'll know what I'm talking about. And it's a poem that, um, that was written a long, long, long time ago. And, um, I just thought it would be something that, um, that would kind of motivate and, um, make people understand what our country's all about. Is that cool? Sure. It's your, it's your, your time, sir. You got it. I want to hear okay. this poem. The, the, the eagle born to those that pledge their lives in sacred honor. Um, we're shined upon a bomb of the Lord. And free from chains and iron collar. He's held a lot of unity and history revered for preserving peace through strength. And his wing now reigns across 200 years. But for each of those, and one year more, God has smiled upon the core. First to the Barbary Coast to the eastern stand, by sword, by gun, or by bare hand. So it's been and shall be weighed. There are many that are born, but few are made. Faithful always, they shall remain. Dogs to loose when war is raged. Wow, I love it. Oh, hey, uh, our beautiful lady, Grey Eye Jewel, just showed up. Grey, how the hell are you doing, Thank sweetheart? You, Grey. Thank you, Grant. I wasn't going to call you for three reasons. If I hear all three of them... Let's hear them. First off, I called her all day. Because I'm putting together my channel. You called her all day and you called me all day? How the hell did you do that? I've got a phone. (laughs) And I'm putting a lot of stuff together. And... I ran a lot of crap by um, by Gray Eyed um, Jewel because, you know, I don't know it all. And putting together a channel is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. And Jewel knows, knew exactly what we needed to do or we'd still be in kitty mode. She knows what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just, so anyway. You know, once I get this laptop going, I'll drive out there and I'll help you out too. And I'll come over to Arizona and we'll go. Have a little fun riding some ATVs around and stuff. Exactly, but I'll be uh, I'll be shooting out of here before too awful long. But um, the thing about it is, um, I'm really really happy to um, to get this going so that you know they, we do have to get the news out. We do need to be honest about the news. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And I listen to all this propaganda. What are you going to do about it? Well, I know what we're going to do about it. We're not going to tell we're you. Gonna vote, we're going to vote the bastards out. And we're not going to let them ever pull the wool over our eyes again. Mm-hmm. And we're going to wake up, America, because it's time. And we're not going to fall into the traps of stupidity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You can't have everybody telling you what they think, but to have the actual knowledge of it is another thing. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. Yes, sir. You know, they sat down this week and we lost hundred. We have lost thousands of jobs in our country, and he's going to really severely weaken our country. And we're losing a lot of oil resources. Freaking dumb. I didn't hear you. All the oil resources he just lost us. You know? Well, he lost those like the first day. Yeah. With all the executive orders. But we're going to vote, and we're going to vote right down the line, and we're going to have, we're going to vote for the people that are going to do something for this country rather than um, talk about it. Yeah. And the other thing about it is we're not going to let anybody in another country or another area tell us how threatened we are. Heck you know, yeah. we are Americans, right? Yeah, hell yeah, we're Americans. We don't take shit from and anybody. We, we pretty much stay united, do we not? We sure do. And, and how can you be united when you listen to propaganda? You can't. You cannot. And how can, and how can you feel safe in your house when you have people saying that um, we have enemies on both borders? Yeah. And you have all these people talking all this stuff they know nothing about. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and that's what's pushing propaganda, and it's actually making us look weak. And I don't mean that rotten. It's just people are falling into this stuff that has no truth behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I know why you're betting news, and I know why we have to bet news, because we want to have the true news on here. The executive orders that they signed will severely hurt our country. And the other thing is, Getting back in the um, Paris Accord. Worst thing they could ever do. Children, they're going to teach our children how to protest, and we're going to be under. We're going to think that we're a bunch of. Um, we were all living in oppression. You know, I don't, I don't think we live in oppression. I think we're we're being suppressed. Uh, you know, our voices aren't being heard. But yeah. that's what we're about: is making our voices heard, and the best way to do it. It is to vote out the crap, get better united, and never let what happened to Trump happen again. You know what I mean? That's for dang sure. Oh, and Gray, can you share all of my information, Gray? They want. They say my PayPal is not working. Can you share it so they can see if it works? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Rob. No, that's fine. I, I agree. Get some. It's the oxycotton generation. Keep everybody drugged and stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the way, um, get some. You're awesome, man. I really like hearing you talk tonight. Heck yeah. I want to go shooting guns with them now. Oh, Dara uh, Herlocker. Hello. You are awesome. Yes, she is. Anyway, longer story short, if we work together and we stay smart, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. We're going to be fine. And the only reason why... I even brought that up was because I asked, um, I asked Jim Bob, that silly guy, if there was hiding more information. And I know on the other side that nothing's there. What they got going on, if you really want to know, right? Yeah. Is we have a huge caravan coming into our country because he opened up the borders. He stopped the um, building of the wall. And that also, again, is going to cost us jobs. And then he went $15 an hour for everybody in America, you know. And the dumb thing about that is, you know, when you're in high school, do you really need to make $15 an hour or do you just need to learn how to work? Yeah, that that's what those jobs are about. Those jobs are there to teach you how to work. It's not supposed to so be a living freaking to, wage. Once you learn how to work, they'll pay you more, right? Yeah, it's not meant to be a living wage. I'm sorry, if you're 40 years old and you're still working at McDonald's, then you got to figure out something better to do. Go learn a trade. Become a plumber. You know how much freaking plumbers make? Holy jeez. You know, but, electrician. Digging ditches. And, and get some distance, something truly, really true. You know, 
The thing about it is, Catherine, it, it does look like an invasion, but they're being stopped everywhere they go. They're, they're not really, um, that caravan has been like whooped on ever since they got out. And if it was an invasion, they would have weapons and they would look um, a lot different than they do. If, if they were a military, if, if it was military, it just have a lot of things to do. And I don't like it either. Yeah. With Trump in office, um, they wouldn't be coming. And more than likely, they're being stopped everywhere right now. But they're still going to make it over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's right. And that's the possible minimum wage for federal <laughs> workers. But it seems like shit is rolling on us, too. You know, it's, you know what I mean? You're an employer. Drunk Uncle Al, I'm, I'm going to give him a shout-out. Is that okay? Yeah, let's talk about his him and his uh, vapes. Okay, Drunk Uncle has a vape, has vape stores, and he knows everything about vaping. And it'll get you out of um, cigarette. It'll get you out of cigarettes if you want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And again, um, Don Har- Harlocker, Herlocker, here's a shout out. We're happy. Okay, I hope you're happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, we just got to work together, stay together, stay strong. I kind of lost the track of where I was at. You're talking you about the, I mean? the border and, and the people coming across, you know. How we can, you're going to say that we cannot feed the world. We do not have the resources to take care of everybody in the world. And we if, don't have the resources to take care of everybody in the world. We have to, we have to pretty much, um, we pretty much have to um, be smart. Yeah. And we, and we need to take care of Americans first, you know. If you're here legally, amen, God bless you and welcome here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't evade our borders. Come in honestly, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Irma, be careful. Don't put your phone number in the chat like that, sweetheart. People are going to, uh, people can take that and call you. You don't want that. Who put their phone number in the chat? Irma did. I'm trying to take a picture of it right now because she wants me to call her. I just delete that out. Yeah. Delete, get that, get that gone. You don't ever want to put out any of your information. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of it real quick just because she wants me to call her. I don't think I can... Oh, yeah, I can remove stuff. I just removed it, Irma. I took your phone number out of there. Perfect, and you're going to need to call her because she's been wanting to call in and talk to you for a while. Right on. Yeah, I'll call her. I just had 60,000 um, retinal deaths since um, 2019, and we do have our own problems. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, we do yeah. have a lot of our problems, and, and we, we really got to work at solving them, and... The one thing about it is, we need to work about we need to work at solving our problems and don't let fear be, be don't let fear get into your head. Yeah. Work at the solution. Don't stay in the problem. Uh oh, my phone. If you stay in the problem, you're just gonna get depressed. I mean, there's a lot of people in here, right? Yeah. Hey, Rob, you that keep I'm... talking. I gotta go find a charger for my phone because I'm about to die. You keep talking for All me. All right. You got it. The one thing I was going to tell everybody, you know, they they want to talk about um, preppers and they want to talk about prepping and they're going to want to stick you with a bunch of money. You know what I mean? Pay for a lot, pay for this, $25, $30, $40. I'm going to tell you guys how to, um, to survive a hell of a lot cheaper than that and have what you need. And I don't know if this is going to sound nuts, but I'm going to tell you. The stats are 100 pounds of rice per person per year. Many, many places overseas have gone with that. And if you do, if you just get wise with how you do it, you will, um, you'll be a lot better off than buying all this stuff that isn't going to help you at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And the other thing about it is, um, we're going to be showing how to smoke meat and how to preserve things on the channel yeah. so that everybody will understand um <laughs> I love it because some says 100 pounds of rice is a meal for me well if you need 100 pounds of rice I don't want to be the guy that cleans your sewer <laughs> <laughs> anyway I just want people to be wise with what they're doing and 
and I want them to understand that um, we, we do care about everybody in the chat, and we don't want anybody getting taken advantage of at all. No, we don't. Know? And That's the dang back truth. to something we were talking about a little earlier. Is that all right with you? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, just plugging it in. There we yes, go. One thing we were we were talking about earlier was that um, we're going to do common sense survival. It's going to be hard luck because a lot of people right now, you know, with the coronavirus and being locked up at home and and and, and, and you know when you're locked up for as long as we've been locked up in our country. You have a tendency of getting um, you, you you have a tendency of getting um nervous and things happen. Yeah. You know what I mean. Definitely. And and the one thing about it is um, nervousness and um, being case. shut in at home creates um a lot of paranoia and a lot of bad feelings. And they don't realize how much they're um damage they're doing to us yeah a lot of people here wouldn't be here if they could move around and be free you know what i mean sure sure and and the thing about it is you have to have a place where you can let your feelings out and just say hey i'm here i'm alive you know what i mean most definitely yeah and, and we need to and we need to be there for one another right now because of what's going down you know what i mean yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and to cure some of the paranoia, tell people what they need to do just because of um, everything that's going on. Yeah, Catherine, I agree. Everybody's sick of being locked up. Oh, yeah. But Catherine, I'm going to tell you something straight up. I'm tired of going on chats and saying we're all defeated. That we're all defeated. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little bit of information out that I normally don't throw out because um, Catherine came into the room because of me. Is that cool? Yeah, go for it. Catherine, what I got mad about with with that one channel was that he made fun of people with PTSD, and I've had friends that have shot themselves. I have had a lot of people that have PTSD, and it just made me mad, and that's the truth. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go too much more into it than that, but that's what pissed me off. And then begging for money all the time. And, and you know what? We're, we're here in America, and everybody in America has problems. You know that, right? Yep. And if we learn to work together like our forefathers did and everybody else, and I think a lot of us still know our history, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we used to have uh, gardens in our yard like I do. We used to grow our own food. Yeah. And we used to be a lot more money cautious than we are right now. We didn't really care what the um, Dow was doing or um, how much money we were selling. So, so, blah, blah, blah. I didn't say um, that. To, hold on a second. I, I don't. Anybody be sorry about. I don't think I have a Eddie Block Films uh, PayPal account, guys. I don't think I do. Well, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to work something out there. Yeah. And Catherine, I'm so sorry about your loss. You know what I mean? And that's the other thing, right? People play on people all the time, right? Yeah. They want you to feed into this and feed into that, you know what I mean? But if we can be in there and, and there's a lot of people who say, just be honest with me, tell me the truth. You know, don't don't add in, insult to injury, you know what I mean? Yeah, a pen of And the reason why I'm saying this tonight is because I've been in a lot of channels and a lot of areas and I was watching preppers, and they tell you to do this and do that, and half that shit don't work. Yeah. It really doesn't, and it's the stuff you don't even need to worry about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, I just saw Irma. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I just saw Irma. Saw... Oh, I, I guess she gave me a weird number. I'm sorry. Okay. She didn't I give me the right number. I'm going to keep going here on a little bit, all right? Go for it. Uh huh. And then they spend the money they get at the hotel room and eating steak or eating whatever they want to eat, and then they go back and tell you to eat um, a fish head or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
why why does it have to be that extreme, right? Yeah, of course. I just saw Irma's yeah. number. What she did is she wrote one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so she didn't give us a real number, but it was three one zero. So I thought it was she. I was gonna. It was an LA number. Well, well, that's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about her. I'm not worried about her phone number. If she didn't put it in. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. You know, I know, Captain. I'm gonna say something. I've lost family members too, and I don't want anybody to say they're sorry. This is a long time ago, right? I don't want to get into all this other crap. But losing a fan, losing a family member like your son. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry for your now, loss. It's really, really hard on anybody. And people play. People play you on your emotions because at one moment of weakness, they can rule over you your whole life. And it's, I lost my son and I don't want to get into it at all about it, if that's okay. Yeah. But I sat there and I thought about this and it's really hard for families to, um, for people to get along after the fact. And it's really tough when you watch something that you put in this world that's supposed to outlive you so with my sincerest cons condolences on that because I've been through it too and I'm not I'm not comparing my apples to your apples I've just I've been there and I know how tough it is and I know how people play people you know what I mean oh yeah I've been there yeah well you have and right now you're you're there again you yeah. know what I mean and you know, I, I don't come on here, and I don't think anybody else that really are true come on here to see you in trouble. They want to see you just get it going and do it again, you know what I mean? Get back to life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, and Sheila and, both, and my nephew, both from head injuries, and 10 years to the date, same day, that one of the odds. You know, that words can't express. You know, I, I can't even express how awful that would be. Oh, yeah. And Janet Horn, um, love you too. But I want people to understand, you know what I mean? That's for sure. And I just want them to understand that you don't have to spend a lot of money to be able to survive anything. It has a lot to do with being wise, know your surroundings, right? Yeah. Kind of. And, and know how to, uh, if you have fire, basic food, and water been a basic shelter and water you're gonna be fine yeah and all this will explain on the channel and I'm not sitting there trying to take his his channel over I Eddie and I are gonna be working together for a long time in the future to come in the in the future oh yeah definitely you know what I mean you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a prayer you mind if I do a prayer in here no, sir, go for it. But you, if you're going to do one, don't forget to include Gray's daughter because Gray's daughter hasn't been feeling well lately. I got this. All right. Um, before I go, this is for everybody that's lost anybody and everybody that, um, that um, is feeling something poor right now. Is that cool? Oh, of course. Yes, sir. Okay, you ready for this? Yes, sir. Here we go. Our most kind and heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all the good that you do. Father, we, we have a bunch of people in here that are, need your comfort. We need you to lay your hand upon them and and help them out and give them the calm, the calmness that only God can give. And we know that if we pray for these things and all the people in here, and we pray a special prayer for... Um, Pray, I Jewel's daughter, that you'll you'll fulfill it because you say if you ask for it, you shall receive it. We pray for all these things in the name of your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We'll take the tag off. Everybody in, everybody in here goes through losses. That's life, and it's hard. Yeah. But you allow, allowing people to play upon your weaknesses is even harder. Yeah, B and B thrift is me. Go ahead. Oh, they're saying that uh, the PayPal comes as BNB Thrift. That's that's what I use for uh, my eBay. So yeah, that's called BNB Thrift on eBay. What do that? Yeah. But anyway, I just want everybody to know here we care so much about you, and um, we want you all to understand that we do care about you. 
Oh, yeah. And having you in this chat and being part of the family means a lot to Eddie. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to Drea. I, do. I can go on and on. But we're, we're sitting here, and we just want people to know the truth. And common sense survival is the best way to survive. And we come in here, and I, you know, a lot of people say talk to people in chat. Do talk to the people in the chat. But most importantly, if you got something bugging you, just vent it. You know, put it out there. We're here for one another. We're not here to see through one another. We're here to see one another through. Yes, sir. And, it, and in these times, we have to be strong. And we have to realize not people yet. are going to try to rip you off. They're going to play on your sympathies. And they're going to say, help me, help me. But then you have to ask yourself a question, are they helping you? You know, are they feeding are they feeding emotions into you that you don't need? Right now our country might be a mess, you know what I mean? But we're Americans, we're gonna get it back. And the more people that say we're gonna lose it makes it resolve that much stronger. We don't quit here in America. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on. Do you quit Eddie? Do you think I'm a quitter? I, I'm still here. Of course, Absolutely I'm not no not. goddamn here quitter. Here you go on this one, drunk uncle. Do you quit? <laughs> I mean, Catherine, do you quit? Nobody quits, hey, and they no. can't make us quit either. You know what I mean? Exactly. So here's where we go with this. We show you common sense survival. You're gonna see a crippled man staying alive in the wilderness that can build his own. Build his own shelter. Yeah. We're gonna show you how simple this actually is. Thank so you, that Darn. People understand that it's not as hard as they're making it look. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Darn. Hard, hard lucker. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you all for the shout out. I really appreciate y'all. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Thank well, you. Thank you for the twenty five bucks and thank you for being here. Oh yeah, we're glad to have all you folks in here, man. We love we love our our subscribers. We love the people in the chat cuz you guys actually talk in the chat. You guys talk with us and we can talk back to you guys. Yeah, man, and that that's what makes the chat. You know, everybody has a different opinion and we have freedom of speech. Yeah. You know, we just we don't want to take a lot of shit from anybody, but we take care of those problems. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one more thing. We're only victims if we allow ourselves to be victims. And if you allow people to get in your head, you should understand a couple things. Who the fuck are they to get in your head? Oh, yeah. You yeah. have to, in these times, stay strong. And you got to stay vigilant. Yeah, and you Catherine, do. I still believe in miracles, too. Oh, yeah. And right now, right now, we're working on a channel that is... With Eddie, I mean, Eddie's stand on this, and we're going to work together well. We're going to answer your questions, and we're going to be the first survival show that's going to have a live chat on it, and we're going to answer any questions given. And Eddie's going to get his computer back, and he'll be able to read the chat, so that'll make it a lot easier for him. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, so I, I, I've kind of talked to everybody's ear off. Not you, Rob, like, never. I, I, I do that, but I just wanted to let everybody know we're here for one another. Yeah. And we got to remember that, and we got to remember we're Americans, and united we stand. And the only way we fall apart is if we let the bastards win, and there is no winning when you don't have any unity. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. I, um... I, uh, like I told you, Rob, remember what I told you? I said, you can call me anytime and I'll answer the phone. And I've only missed your call maybe, what, once, if that? So. Maybe, maybe once. And half the time, I think you're probably smart if you just kind of like, fuck that. <laughs> I got like other things to do. <laughs> no, no, no. I always, I always answer your phone calls, brother. I always do. Well, before, before I, um, jump off, um, Valerie... Perfect. We will we will be there for you, guaranteed. And I wanted to say to everybody in the chat, if you can, hit that like. Um, if you can become a member, that would be awesome. 
and uh, we just want to keep our family together and keep it growing. And oh, Catherine is think. right. Got to be united, America. Yeah. The other way we are untied. No, united. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I'm reading really fast. But I want people to know that that's what we're here for. And we're not here to give you false information. And yeah. Grey Eye Jules has a lot of information out there. She's a very smart woman. Very she knows smart what's woman. Going on, and she knows what the fuck is going on in the world. Yeah, she does. And anyway, longer story short, um, you guys all mean a lot to us, and we love having you here with us. And um, thanks again for listening to this old bastard. And um, I love you, Eddie. I love you too. And Donnie says he loves you too, Rob. Well, I love him, too. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to get off, and somebody else, uh, Irma Gonzalez wanted you to call her, so. Yeah, well, that, that number uh, she gave me wasn't a number to call, so I can't call her. <laughs> well, Irma, do you, want, do you want to talk to him? Yeah, Tell me see. now in the chat. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet from her. Everybody's well, saying hi to I, Donnie right now. Perfect. And does anybody in here want to want to talk to Rob? Or not talk to Rob, but um, talk to Eddie and come on and and just say what you need to say and have some fun. Yeah. If you do, let us know and uh, we'll we'll make sure we'll make it happen. All right. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. I'm not seeing and anybody. At that, point, at that point, I'm out. And um, God bless everybody in the room. And thank you guys so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate you calling in and talking to us and everything you do, man. You bet. I will talk to you later. All right. Talk to you later, sir. All right. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> get. I think, uh, no, get some. I think you want to talk to Sarah. <laughs> Here, there you go. You can look at that. You know, I got I to gotta finish sticking my posters up. They all fell. Especially after the lovely, um, what do you call it, FBI came through. You guys like Star Wars? I got this poster in Seattle. I don't know, I'm a movie fan, so. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Um, I think we've been on here for a while, so, uh, any, any questions you guys want to ask me real quick? Otherwise, I still have to go feed the puppies. Because they're very, very hungry. And uh, all those sugars asleep over here. And then I got to go to uh, feed the pig. And then I got to go feed my cat. And take a shower. Because you would love Sarah, Paul. <laughs> I haven't seen Sarah on in a while. So I don't know. I don't know where she is. And I can't do, uh, I can't do FaceTime right now on here. Because I only have one phone. Oh, thank you very much, Janet. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Gray. Thank you, Drunk Uncle. And, uh, heck. Thank you, everybody. Rob Redvets. Dude, he, he's half the show. Rob is half the show, right? And, uh, Drunk Uncle, he's awesome. Uh, all of you in here, get some. He called tonight. That was good. The Mandela Effect, the Star Wars one. No, I haven't yet. Um, let's see. You know, I got one for Rob in here, but I don't know where it went. I think they knocked it all the way down to the ground. Cause it, nope, that's not it. Whoa, so I just scared... Panda just jumped 10 foot in the air. Uh, I like to collect... Because I'm a... I went to school to be a filmmaker. A media communications and journalism, but I also have a degree in film. So, Panda, you knocked my phone out. So I like getting old movie posters. I don't know. Just stuff I like to do. But I had one that was a marine. Oh, I found it. I found it. This one's for you. Man, these guys really messed up my office. I had it all nice. This one's for you, Rob. There you go. A good marine one. And it's backwards, isn't it? Son of a gun. How can I fix this? 
I know how to do it on Facebook, but not here. I don't know why it's backwards. Maybe it's just backwards to me. Is it backwards to you guys? Yeah. This one says uh, U.S. Marines. I hope it's not backwards. It's backwards to me. So. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've written some films and stuff. Uh, I definitely want to make... It's not backwards to you, okay. It's reading backwards on me. But yeah, I definitely want to be a filmmaker. Uh, the, um, I just kind of, I went to go help Ben Berkwam and I just turned into a reporter all of a sudden. So, uh, so yeah, that's how it happened. I didn't, uh, this wasn't something I thought I was going to do. And, but it's funny, uh, I, uh, I was a director of the news for our Fresno State Focus. And there was all, uh, whatever. I was all, um, hit you up out of the camp ministries. All right, send me an email at eddieblockfilms at gmail.com and, uh, and I'll reply as soon as I can get into my email. Hopefully when I get this computer up. But, yeah. Oh, glad, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad, Dar. I'm glad that we, you found us. Um, that's what this chat's all about. That's why it's called Eddie's House in the chat. So you guys can come in here and chat with us. And, uh, you know, have a place, a safe place to where you can talk about whatever you want. Uh, yeah, uh, Greg, Rob's asking if he can call you after the chat. And, uh, Greg, can you text me again? I, um, I reset my phone again and I lost, uh, I lost your number again. The handicapped white supremacist chat. <laughs> Yeah, G did I, yeah. Uh, so uh, I made a documentary that I showed the other night, and I made it with Ben Berkwam, and uh, he specialized in adult films. So uh, we we showed it at the Fresno State Film Festival at a liberal campus, and we won first place on a conservative documentary. So, so yeah, we should all do a FaceTime soon. Yeah. Uh, I thought we're, I'm, well, I'm FaceTiming all the time, I guess. I got to shave, by the way. Look at that. I'm getting kind of burly. Anyways, but yeah, we'll definitely FaceTime all the time, uh, real soon. The only problem is Gray does not have an iPhone. So you and I have an iPhone, I guess. But Gray doesn't, so we'll have to Skype it or something like that. Not backwards? Okay. I'm getting messages way, 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 way behind. And I'm getting really tired, guys. Sorry, I've been driving all day. Zoom? Does Zoom? Can you do Zoom for free or does it cost money? You'll give me a shave, Irma? I have never, I have never let someone else shave me. I've never done that. It's free. Okay, we'll have to try it that way then. I just thought maybe it was, uh, it cost money. Yeah, we can do a Zoom. We can have a big old long conversation. Good night, Angry. Thank you for uh, being in the chat. Thank you for donating earlier. I appreciate it. Uh, we got another person that wants to talk junk. Another person that wants to talk junk. But it's alright. You can talk junk. Don't bother me. It just makes you feel better. Right? But that's okay. That's why I'm here. You want to laugh at me? That's fine. <laughs> Maybe I can raise some money for a shaving. Yeah, I hate shaving. That's why I'm glad I do... Well, I'm on camera now. I used to be behind the camera. and never had to worry about shaving. Every time I think about shaving, too, I think about um, uh, Seinfeld. Remember that Seinfeld? It was called the... Somebody said it in the chat room the other night, too. The competition to where they talk about, uh, you know, men going without, you know, doing what men do when they're alone sometimes. And Elaine says, well... You know, uh, I shave, and, you know, I got to shave, too. And the guys are like, not every day. Eddie's girls are not quitters. Heck no. And I have a lot of, of ladies in this chat. You have an extra iPad. Would you like one? Um, You know what? That's one of the things they took. I mean, sure. I could definitely use one of those, because that's what I used for taking the pictures. Oh, yeah, everybody. Oh, I got to show this to Love, because Love was asking about it. So I have this big, I don't want to show you everything because it's messy over here. But see, I have this big, huge box. See, that's what I film all my, I take all my pictures 
with for yeah not every day tar uh that this is what i take all my pictures with for, for, i guess you can't see because it it's so bright but it's a big white box and you can put your ebay stuff in there and take pictures with so that's how i make my little side money is is a little bit of ebay here and there so yeah but anyways guys i definitely have to feed my dogs i have got to go and uh, take uh feed the pig because penelope my pig is probably mad feed my cat i know she's mad for sure and then here comes the donnie say hi donnie mm. say hi bubbas he could care less about everybody right now so all right i'm gonna go feed the dogs thank you everybody for being here thank you for staying so late everybody who donated i didn't see everybody so thank you very much i appreciate it and uh god bless everybody don't worry don't freak out the country is not gonna go to hell it's all going to be good. What do I sell on eBay? Whatever I can find at a thrift store. Um, I go to these thrift stores around here. And uh, they have half price sales on different colors every week. And um, I go in there and uh, whatever's 50% off, I can buy it really cheap. And then I put it on eBay. I try to stick mostly to like glassware and plates. Uh, because, uh, you know, everybody breaks their mother's plate and have to go buy and replace their fancy plates, right? So, so yeah, um, uh, I, I'm not, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest, I am not gonna give my eBay channel out on here, just because there's a lot of Antifa that go on here, and I don't want Antifa to ruin what I have on eBay. Um, I'm sorry, I, I hope that doesn't sound wrong, and I hope you guys can understand that. Uh, I definitely want to keep, uh, uh, my channel separate from my eBay. So, thank you guys. Everybody have a good night. Yes, yeah, everybody say bye, FBI. I know you're watching. Uh, I do gotta say thank you to that one FBI agent who gave me the phone, because that was very nice of him. And, uh, anyway, so, good night, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be on here tomorrow afternoon. So, I'll be on earlier tomorrow. Because I have to go somewhere tomorrow and go hang out with somebody I promised I'd hang out with tomorrow night. So, everybody, I uh, love you guys. Uh, good night. I'm going to go feed the fur babies. And I said good night a million times. Yeah, uh, back to blue still. Uh, most of the cops are not bad. You know, there's just a certain couple that are bad. So, we still got, you know, they, you need them to protect us, right? So, all right. Good night, everybody. Good night, FBI. Good night, Rob. Gray. Drunk Uncle, Irma, love, love, uh, talk to everybody later on. All right, good night.